Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh man, that that song started right then. That was the worst time for a song to start. Let's let's get this show on the road. Woo! Ready for it? Three, two, one, and let's go. Plug into the matrix. What is up, y'all? <laughs> Welcome to the show. Getting it started up tonight. Ugh. <laughs> let's get that hype on. Woo! What's up, y'all? Welcome to the drop down. Welcome. It's Thursday night. We're hanging out. Adam made me an amazing Manhattan. Nope, nope. It's called an old fashioned, but you know, Manhattan. Cheers. What would would be, what's the difference between a Manhattan and an old fashioned? Do you know? All I know is the recipe for one of these, and I made it. It got some cherries in here. I like carefully cut off some rinds and we have wow. and then and then heather she taught me how to how to get the different um bitters i was like i got bitters and she's like you know no bitters baby <laughs> they're like so many bitters what? out there and i was like damn i got what schooled ex- got, like i i took a bar cat my wife and i took a bartending class and we learned all about this stuff and made a bunch of drinks and everything and it was amazing 
what exactly do you know what bitters is like does it have it doesn't have alcohol yeah right? it's alcohol oh, it's, so it's, it's alcohol, alcoholic but that it- it's like a mix nice mike is a little in the chat throwing up hey, throwing hey, up the, hey. the the custom <laughs> our our the- one custom <laughs> hell yeah thank you for paying for that mike is <laughs> You are like awesome. It's like Mike, <laughs> me and Mike is the only people that can put up those. Uh, no, but uh, so we we took all of that. So is it it's some kind of distilled something? I, if it? Stealth Mouse is out there, she's got to help school us in the okay. chat as what the hell bitters, bitters, bitters are. Is. But so we'll 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 check in in a little bit yeah. about that. But man, we always have a good show planned out. Hey, hey, hey! We were talking about bitters. Stuff you gotta else. like let us know what's the difference between bitters. Give us the, like the or like what is bitters? What is bitters and, and why is there differences between <laughs> that? But um, yeah, bitters. Get them bitters Old there. Bitters. Uh, we got a we got a packed show like yeah. we always do. We always do. It's been a stressful week for all of us. Like every week is sure. every hectic, busy thing. Let you all are in there too, and you're hanging hey. out with us. Yeah, We've got people. You know, eating appreciate that green chilies from Pueblo green chilies. Come on, yeah, we got it. We I, I was that. trolling the chat with, with <laughs> Hatch green chilies. Of course, it's Pueblo green chilies. It's a there is only no, wait if there was only yeah if there was only a resource, <laughs> but that's why you're here it's true. to help us because you're the expert. We bring the experts into it's the true. room. It's true. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> well, okay. So uh, what we wanted to do is we wanted to just hang out tonight yeah. and so it's it's gonna be a little bit more i wouldn't say lax because we got plenty on the agenda to talk about yeah but we just wanted to be able to be a little bit more free form we yeah. have some hands-on with some new ai ryan is like all up on the different ais out it's there fun. it's fun that there's two there's basically updates to ai the ai projects that we already looked at in previous shows that are cooler now and then and then we're going to talk about GB Studio and play some GB Studio games, which is yeah. going to be awesome. Well, because, you know, the big part of today's show is going to be about, like, our game, our GB Studio Game Boy game. And what we want to do is, like, we're at the point where we need to be, like, figuring out not just talking in generalities. Like, what are we doing for this prototype and what is going to be, like, kind of the the way that we can build a lot of what we want to do into the final game into this thing and make sure that we can do it and so what we want to do is play some games to get like some inspiration for i i think that's an awesome idea we we have wait let me oh wait hold on let's see what do we have over here oh we got a board over there that has some of our like stuff we're gonna we're gonna practice (laughs) last time you helped us out with the volume we're gonna see if that thing works again we'll get back to that in a little bit oh yeah um (laughs) Created a new feature. If I turn on these like name keys, they just disappear automatically. I don't have to push a button. Man. Automation, man. Wow. It's OBS. Fun. Uh magical thing. I have done so much in GB Studio, but I feel like it's super nerdy and like not really great, but I want to explain it to yeah. y'all and you get to hear it because like, <laughs> I'm sure Heather, like I start geeky, talking to geeky like things are <laughs> not out of like the context of the show, Adam. Hell yeah. I mean, it's to the point where it gets way intense to the point where I was like, what am I even doing? Like I'm talking pages of code that I, Man, I have done. Wow. So it is a little intense and, and even the concept of what I'm going to explain a little bit. Um, let me just, let let me just tell it this way it's called tile swapping and okay. it's a way for us to to save memory on our game so we could do some really crazy things you wouldn't so think, you're gonna hear about that you wouldn't think creating a game boy game would be so complicated but yeah it is. it's like <laughs> it's not just about putting a bunch of art in there it's right. about like figuring out how to do it the leanest way possible and of course there was a sweet update that is Ooh. coming out about gb studio that i like to talk to you i didn't tell you about this Ooh. so we're gonna talk about that cool we're gonna work about um maybe our our media kit oh we got some things in here there's four oh, types bitters. i was gonna go in chat gpt and say please give me a response of what bitters are if your wife was irritated with you <laughs> about <laughs> trying to explain it but let's take a look at it we got to talk about it. coffee so, and tea yeah yeah there's what bitters wide range of flavors ingredients and marking okay it's like uh yeah basically different types of bitters are you know have different flavor profiles spicy character with cinnamon uh intertones there's a couple different types yeah i feel like that goes with whiskey that makes sense it it, like it gives it what do you call it like tones it down a little bit doesn't make the bite hit so hard right um like just so it's not just straight alcohol you are drinking like it's more like a a a more sophisticated drink i gotta show we're representing the blended brand today i have my my uh barber He's like big into building like uh, like 
clothes and he makes different things and so one of the reasons i'm representing him is every time i come in he's like how's the video game going how's how's the game boy game and i nice. show him he's like dude that is so much progress that is amazing nice. and so it's been fun to do that and anyway um i bought you have to you have to wear him. the you have to wear the hoodie <laughs> during like jackbox or something yeah i'll go grab the hoodie that i bought from him which was cool he went in and with his buddy he had just like us yeah. he has a buddy that has a clothes line and he went not like the kind you hang your clothes on but like a line <laughs> of clothes that he develops and they actually say here's the stitching we want here's the materials and here we did so we bought some really sweet hoodies probably my most favorite hoodie that i've ever got it's awesome and uh then the, I, I if if I'm going to I'm going to write developing my own clothing line and then just be like cre- hanging up a clothing line outside to to dry clothes. <laughs> you know what I was thinking though and I'm being honest with this is like I guarantee he'd be game to make some sort of like double drop down Ooh, version of something some and merch. I figured we could do that but would it be cool to like totally. team up and be like hey can you give your version of like yeah, yeah, yeah. the double drop down brand totally. and on that. So Watch out. We're we're talking Watch about out. Merch. So some merch, merch coming. Merch the, I think it's about time. Store. I think I, fifty three episodes. I think I think one one shirt could be very cool. I would I would buy would a represent. double drop down shirt. Hey, gotta thank the chat for the bitters. Thank you for yeah. helping everyone understand what that is. I know we could have looked it up, but you showed up. <laughs> That's what you help us out with tonight. So Man. So we're so we're doing so we're playing games. We're yeah, playing yeah. itch.io games that Adam has. We are going to talk about like the progress that we made on the game, sort of both from uh, the platform side and the art side a little bit. And then, I I mean, then we're going to actually get into sort of designing out what some of this uh, uh, prototype that we're going to make, which is like a small version of the first level. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we could figure out what's fun, what's not fun, how big do these you know levels need to be, all that stuff. And we'll end with some Jackbox. Hell yeah! If you haven't got Jackbox, get your your, your phones get out. Your phone, get your phone. Super charge easy. your phone. Charge your phone. Hey, like people in the chat. I know there are some people in the chat that maybe think they can't play Jackbox because it's intimidating. We're gonna have a thing on the screen. You just go into your little actually, browser actually, on your phone right now. In the chat, somebody that knows ja- Jackbox dot tv jackpot you, just go to just go just figure just to get to site. chat get to a place where it says enter in a code and we'll and have a code for you at the end of the time in, and you'll so be able to play on your phone you're good all right we got to represent what happens in our discord because we got some frequent flyers yeah. in the discord let's talk and they're about, fun they're fun posts that like i wouldn't have found my own self so uh so I'm we're just excited gonna, we're to just be gonna scroll it let's see what we got in our discord because <laughs> nice. in the discord uh what we do is oh is that our discord that's oh not shoot! It. That is that's, not. That's just a uh, infinity <laughs> mirror of OBS. <laughs> that is an infinity mirror. All right, there we go. There's our Discord. Man, this is what we do in the hangout. We don't we don't prep for it. <laughs> oh wait, we got some games oh, behind the scenes. Oh my god, he's showing so everything. So many it's... things are showing off. This is this is what organ unorganized hangout is. Adam this cut off. off. My god, you like. Spent your damn time making old fashions and not talking about this. Stuff. Hey, we, we could have been, I could have been <laughs> practicing these transitions. I could not grab that corner. All right. Anyways, one of the first ones, interesting enough, uh, Biden orders every U.S. agency to appoint a chief AI officer. I, yeah, like. Pretty interesting here. I, I feel like it's it's really good that we are getting some kind of fast movement, at least somewhat, on regulation for these types of things. I feel like the all the governments really screwed up with social media, and they did not step in or do anything to to make the scourge that is, you know, all of us depressed and you know, rampant disinformation being spread and all of that stuff that happened with social media i feel like at least they're trying does, it, some d- of does this. this guy know what an ai is though he's, come he, on he let's doesn't be know <laughs> shit about what an ai is but that none of that matters fine he's, he's appointed some people <laughs> exactly let's just say that like he knows that those ty- somebody is telling him that those types of things are important and he's appointing people to make that happen which fair. is like great there, there was much bu- better than the other guy if i had to guess fair enough AI. there's a bunch of words there that was not important and if you want to check it out, we'll uh, we're gonna check that one in the chat right now. So, yep. all right. So this next one, uh, Peace Corps. Wait, isn't the Peace Corps the U.S. agency? Yeah. Like I was thinking, what are these agencies gonna do with their AI people? Like, what is that? That like, how many agencies are? I'm I'm stupid. This is a legit question. Like, you, what does that truly mean? But you know what? Like, 
it doesn't matter, right? Like AI, it, you get it's like a computer. It, it's like if you were in the 1970s and you're like, oh. every agency has to have a computer. Like now you would be like, of course they do. <laughs> and back in the day, you'd be like, every does the does the Coast Guard need a computer? Like, I doubt it. And then now you'd be like, of course the Coast Guard needs a computer for doing everything. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. We didn't get our shit together, but, you know, we're trying. <laughs> That's we're true. Trying. Damn, we had to get our shit together in the announcement, and it was not together. Hey, we're we're, we're maturing over the show. That's Come true. on. We're getting it together right now. <laughs> we, we got... We're in the process of getting <laughs> we, we it together. We got tabs opened? Come on. Give us, a, give us a break here, man. Wow. All right. Only a sophisticated show could have tabs open. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this next one we is was pretty sweet. Uh, oh, yeah. So this one, thanks to Mike Azul, what do we got here? But a thing called Screenbound. Good to see Kylie. I just served, just hey, in the chat. what's up, guys? <laughs> this one looks sweet. I think this is a cool find. Ryan made some good points though that it was a little like hard. Wait, oh shoot, there's a bunch more. Look at all these. Did you see all they're these? Just, they're just like screenshots. So anyway, so what this is, this is a game coming out on Steam. Mike Zool put it in the Discord, and it was like Screenbound cool. where the whole game is you sort of holding this uh, Game Boy up to you as you're in the level, and part of the game is you playing on the Game Boy and moving your person through the world through the Game Boy screen, and part of it is you physically moving around in the 3D world. Anyway, I... I love it. It looks sweet. It does. It does look cool. I <laughs> I'm gonna watch Kylia play this one. Like I feel like this is like right in your kind of uh, way of doing it. Yeah, I, I wonder how crazy the puzzles get. Like how like is this just a gimmick? That that is fun to be like, right? I would jump like, around here and do this. Well, like this screenshot, you're looking from the side, so you're like, yeah, you're just like. Go, but then, like from the epic side, there's a big old water fountain and stuff like that. You right. wouldn't see. I don't know. Looks yeah, cool. I, I I could see it being cool. What I wish, I, why aren't there why aren't there more videos about how it is actually done? So I don't know. There's some little like gifies down here. Let's yeah. See what these gifies are. I mean, maybe, maybe I should have just looked up. I should have just looked up did a I, did like trailer for it on YouTube or something. It, did but I call it a giffy? <laughs> these little, these little giffies. What I was trying to th see is like, there's something with the power. You can tell that. And so I feel like what it is, is you're sort of looking around inside of the 3d world, but then you're moving in the game boy world it looks sweet and I, anything that has a game boy on it yeah awesome. right that's a <laughs> i gotta yeah. say it's good it gets good times hey you know what i didn't say um but i was just gonna quickly bring up is this last week i had gone to immersive game box and the oh, reason yeah. i'm even bringing this up is that they uh so immersive game box if you haven't heard it's basically it's it, you know those rooms that you go into and you have to like escape rooms and you try to find your way out? Yeah. So this is a version of like you step into a full game and it has projectors that push things on the walls that are around you and you put this little hat on and then you interact with the room and you rent it for like an hour or two hours or whatnot and you use like a couple people then go in there and you play these fun games. Um the reason I brought this up is because this this demo reminded me of it. I played Tetris in that immersive game box, huh. and they had this like little Game Boy, and it was on there, and I was like, "Oh my god, this is amazing!" And Tetris sucks. It's a uh, it's an a an AR visor. It is not a VR no, whatsoever. It's like I must projected, say, it's like projected onto a square room, it right, is. or or a cube room. I, I feel like I got to show my the little visor then, just just so you can get an idea. Can I zoom this in? Um, oh, I can check this out. Check out this dance I was doing. Man, <laughs> hell's to the yeah. Ener energetic. Can I, can I? Everyone's like, you have way too much energy. Turn that energy down, Adam. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Very ma main character energy here. <laughs> yeah, no, you're right. It, it's it, I wouldn't even call it AR. Honestly, it's, it's not even AR. It, it's like a it, it's like a. Um, uh, uh, projection onto stuff that then you can interact and touch. So it knows when you're touching the wall. Is the wall gross? Uh, no, that's really pretty, pretty okay. good. There was some dents in the wall and they're like, they definitely tell you in the thing that, um, they're going to screw up your They're hand. like, you don't need to touch the wall super hard. Like it, it, it will, it will, because get it's that. about your shadow more yeah. than anything. Else, I feel like it? I'm hyping this up and, and I, maybe I shouldn't I, no, because, because, okay, one thing about it, 
cost is ridiculous. And yeah. I didn't even realize it. My kids were like, yeah, let's go to Mercer Game Box. I'm like, cool, let's go there. Wasn't lo- looking at the pricing. And I was like, yeah, give me an hour and a half of games. I want to play the Tetris and the, uh, the, 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 what was it? Oh, Squid Games. And then, like, I'm just sitting there and I'm like, eh, it's probably like 100 bucks or something. And they're like, $230, please. Damn. And I was like, Gloop. and my kids are like, yeah, daddy. And I'm like, shit. All right, fine. We're doing yeah, like, the no, thing. No, we're going to the local so, bowling alley. Yeah, this is the day. one. Like, you had this, this, um, this is the one I did. And the, this is what PO'd me, and I gave him a bad Google review for it, is they came in after I, because they, you rank the game afterwards. And they're like, hey, we noticed you ranked this pretty low. Um, what's going on? And I was like, well, it sucked. Like, it wasn't very interactive and, like, the instructions were bad. They're like, yeah, we're kind of testing out the game and just, like, trying to figure. <laughs> I'm like, what? Yeah, like, I got, I got charged full price for this Why test. are you paying me full price for this thing? <laughs> but I got to say, Squid Games was awesome because what it did is, like, all the cool Squid Games. And that was way more instructions. Really fun. Uh, totally worth it if you're ever into I, that. So. Like, so... Click a, click on just a uh, a video. Yeah, this. I was gonna because say I like, watched the video. W- of it. Was it on this site or was there just like yeah. online? No, it, you know they have their own little. I want to do the Squid Games and videos. I would just say that like I wasn't I wasn't very I wasn't very impressed. Like so the maybe, the maybe the yeah. elementary school that my son goes to they they did a, um, a oh, fundraiser yeah. and they bought some kind of like projection screen like this that's interactive for the gym yeah yeah and yeah. they project it onto the wall and then you can like throw balls at targets and you know whatever and I was like this kind of just looks like that in a four like is the game super important for it being fun or yes. is it even I like so. hey everybody Renee here out at Santico Cibolo oh, at the I'm going to turn that down but yeah this is like this is an example of it some random thing so yeah there's the room and it's fun because you basically like it doesn't matter how high you're standing up and down but it's basically where you're at in the room and those little like reticules will go on the on the wall yeah um i don't know if this guy is i don't know anything it feels like a bad wii game that you're doing with your entire body like and i feel like connect games and wii games and all of that stuff like anything with motion controls it's just like not I don't, fun. Like I, nobody has figured was, out how okay, to make that fun. So I would say it was fun as like you bring some people in there, you drink some drinks, sure. you hang out, yeah. you don't have to set it up, you don't have in like But it's, it's like a in family a room. thing. Is it a family yeah, thing or is it meant or, or is there like a bar in the back? No, they like they con- they they really are like, Hey, do you want us to bring you some drinks? Yeah. Like, and then you're like, buy sure, drinks. You totally. can pay for after. And I'm like, I paid $230 for this. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm not you buying bring me a water. I'm not least. buying you like a $7 Sprite. <laughs> so it's like, but this is a great example. You know, you have some lockers, you go lock your, your gear in, and then you have like game things and the GIF. Like, that's a $230 gift because at the end, you're like, you do a little dance or you do something, then yeah. they give it to you. All but, right. I mean, I would say that we had a really great time with Squid Games. It took me a minute to, like, get into it, but um, totally worth it if you were into it. This was not part of our, our, our show, yeah, but I felt yeah. like it was something to explain as a, totally. an experience. It's like interactive art. Like, I, I, I'm into oh, that. Like, they I, had, I they need... had Angry Birds. But the Tetris one was, like, I was I am a huge Tetris fan. I have Tetris tattooed on my freaking arm. And I was like, this is going to be amazing. And they, they, like, it was lame. You couldn't even rotate the shapes in certain what? areas. Yeah, I was like, what the hell? <laughs> Come on, guy. Like, like, who is this for? And then, the, that was, and then the, oh, the thing that really ticked me off is they hand you this thing at the beginning, and you have to sign waivers and whatnot. Sure. And so I signed it all out, and it's like, don't, um, like, you, there's a click box if you want to subscribe to their like crappy email campaign. Sure. And so I did not click it. I watched the lady take it, click the damn thing and submit it. And I was like, oh. I was going to like, I was so <laughs> livid about it, but I didn't want to create a scene in front of my sure. kids. And it's at the very beginning, right? <laughs> I so like, you're not... Yeah. I was like, not happy. Oh, it was, man. it was bad. I was pissed. So I got all these things from it and uh, uh, it was, it was, I thing. mean, you had to unsubscribe, <laughs> right? But <laughs> yeah, I was not happy, but, um, and, and we, I knew exactly what she did and I was, I was <laughs> seething <laughs> right when she did it. That's amazing. <laughs> oh man. That. But anyways, story. so, so other Discord news, we got to get back into well, the, one more. Let's do one more. Uh, which one should we pull out, man? I mean, it's got to be the. Okay, we got to just call out. I want we I we didn't talk about it too much, but um, it's the battle rifle scene. So, um, oh shoot, I can't turn off the Adam. And- 
Oh, oh yeah. never mind. That was the other side. Of, oh, yes, I can. I have, I have a way to turn that off. Oh, yeah, if you it. want it off before 60 <laughs> seconds. Before, I was like, how do you turn that off? Uh, there's a cool battle rifle thing, bringing fiction to life. Yeah. Um, it's like 21-minute video. Uh, well, it's, I mean, that makes crazy. sense. They I, made an entire battle rifle. It's awesome. Right? Did you watch the end of Halo? I did. I did what, watch did, it. Do you have any hot takes real quick? Without spoiling it? Of? I wasn't super PO'd about it, but Not they're PO'd. doing their own thing, yeah. you know? So, you know? It, yeah, totally. Well, try Gamebox, yeah, if you want to try it, Kylie. It's the least worth the experience, but play Squid Games if you do that. Squid Games was the highlight. Squid Games is the best, and, yeah. like, it was really fun with a group. But, okay, so John Stewart, love him or hate him. And this oh, yeah. one thing I was going to tell you. I did want to talk is, about this. Go ahead. Well, I want you to start. I've been yeah. No, 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 no. That, that that's fine. Like I, so I'm a huge John Stewart fan. I was I was a fan back in the day. Probably the person who got me into politics more than anyone else. I would say, um, and didn't necessarily love the Apple TV show. I feel like they really leaned into his um, uh, interviewing style, which sometimes is. You know, it's great, it's great, but but that's not what I'm really here for John Stewart for. I'm here for John Stewart for like the seven and a half minute intro to a daily show. And now that he's come back on Mondays, like I watch it religiously for for John Stewart. And this latest one was like an AI scree and was like, Hey, what is happening? Like what are what are these tech you know, giants and heads of CEOs of these companies trying to like sell us the idea <laughs> of amazing, like AI, you know, uh, utopia when the, the real life, like, you know, now part of AI is the jobless dystopia and just did a great job. I felt like, uh, calling it out. Oh, and in, in, so I see in the chat, you know, disturb saying like the interviews on Apple TV were great, but you know what? He called out Apple on the, on this totally. show. He's like, they didn't want you to be on here. FTC chair. Totally. And then he's like, they didn't want me to go. And we couldn't do that fun AI bit at the end. And he was like really calling them out. But what I was going to say was interesting is like echo chambers. And so we can get into this and talk about the AI piece. But what's really interesting is like I've been in some different news things online and I've really tried to recede from it because it makes me a grumpy old man when I look at some of the God, stuff I that's have, on there. I have not. <laughs> but what was funny is that if you like are a Jon Stewart fan, you're like, yeah, he's awesome. Everyone loves him. Well, I, I ended up looking at some other areas that were a little, le you know, not Jon Stewart and they were calling him a political hack and all this other craziness. Right. And it was just like super polarized on like what the, what the things were with him. So it was really interesting. But well, and I know like back when he was on the daily show, right? Every night or four nights a week, he was saying, you know, he would say that he was like, people call me out about it. And you're like, I'm a comedian, right? Like I'm up here doing this and like talking about it in a certain way. And, you know, in, in, in that sense, like you can't hold him up to the same standards as a politician, right? That no. he is lambasting. But anyway, I, I thought if you haven't seen the video, definitely watch this video. I feel like he does a great job of just, um, yeah, like, you know, calling to task some of the like just CEOs and the way that they talk about it out of both sides of their mouth, right? Because on the one side of their mouth, they're saying, oh man, it's going to be this utopia where like we all we just do is sit around and paint, you know, and AI robot, whatever does everything else. But then on the exact opposite side of the mouth, they're like, well, you know, for, for the first, you know, there's going to be lots of job displacement and AI is basically going to do every job. And you're like, yeah, you know, what is the time period between that happening and utopia better be pretty damn quick. Right. Like, or we're just going to, you know, devolve into this, like, you, you know, no one has a single job and everyone's, you know, job is just to give back rubs to the CEOs of these major corporations. And that's it. I, it, it was uh, it, it was bad because like everyone's like, oh, we can get rid of a bunch of our employees and like maximize yeah. profits. And we're like. You're like, you're saying the quiet part out loud, like, stop, stop doing that. Like, what are you doing? And then, and like, so then, you know, we were talking about the beginning, right? Like the Biden stuff of like putting an AI person. And I love that, right? Like that is faster than typically like government moves and those types of things. Right. right? 
but like it is not fast enough you know like like you saying that and then a year later they've hired that person you're like it's already out of the bag man i don't know it's gonna be tough but the one thing the one thing that i will say is um every person that i meet and i talk about ai with no matter what their job is they are worried about ai taking their job and like it, it almost like almost doesn't matter like i know i know a like home care giver right like they go and they do you know like help people and everything and he was like you know that could help me like write grants and do things and get stuff from it and he goes uh but at least me taking care of people isn't going to do you know like that like that part of it and then he sent me a video literally like a week later oh, in our text there was like this caregiver robot and how it was doing all this stuff and he was like damn it it's coming for me too <laughs> it's coming for all of us i mean at, w at one point can you not make any kind of like money off of it if everyone's job is displaced well, like you know, what's the point of that yeah you need a middle class right to buy uh. your shit or, or you're not going to be, you know, Amazon can't sell to people if everyone like is. <laughs> they might, right? Do you know what? They were saying construction workers and just to quickly call out Disturb, no no new camera. I think they're trying to look at our little uh, buddy over here and trying to focus on his face because oh, it's, it's racking focus. It keeps racking You know, focus. we used to have it to where the camera was on a fixed focus and Ryan and I had to be like completely still. To be still. in our thing. Maybe, <laughs> maybe he needs to, maybe he needs to like be off to the side a little yeah, bit. Yeah, we'll see. We'll have to, we'll work, we'll work on that one. Hey, this is, this is the jank hangout with Adam <laughs> and Ryan. Is, the janky hangout with Adam and Ryan. But um, no, to go back into it is is we were talking about different job displacement and they yeah. had this one where like construction workers were saying not going to take our jobs and then they like showed these robots that were doing like construction jobs like or 3d super printing or 3d printing like whole structures oh and everything God. that's why like every everyone that i do like no matter what it is like hey it's it's coming for everyone which is good like if it only came for certain pockets over the time then we would just let that stuff die and if you were in that pocket sorry tough luck pull yourself up by your bootstraps oh, God, right no. and so but now if it takes over a doctor and a lawyer and a politician and also a white collar job and a blue collar job then like somebody's gonna have to figure out how that how that works in society hey, we're, we're, we're we're going down the rat hole, Ryan. We're going to the philosophical always, rabble. You know, hey. you know, you know what it is? It goes back to the singularity. Like we, <laughs> like what does it, it do? All, it all does. It's all back to the singularity. All right, we're gonna stop the AI okay. ridiculous toil. We got we, we got fun AI to play with. Actually. Yeah, let's. So let's see what's taking the jobs. <laughs> let's see. Yeah, actually, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Both of these, both of these are. Oh God, uh, I don't even know. You're gonna have to. to these yeah, great. No, I want you to. So, thing about so great. Them. You drive, and I'll tell you about oh it. Gosh. And you just, Adam, right. the AI or the <laughs> software uh, pro oh is just going to pick up on this brand new software. All right, this is the first he, time I'm touching. I've not he, heard. A he doesn't even know what thing. this is. I this don't know what be, even we're going to do. Yeah. He, All right. Has no Are we going to it? Okay. All right, we're going to it. So we back, man. Back when we were doing the AI board game, we were talking a lot about 3D printing stuff and we needed and, you know, one of my ideas was for the for the AI board game was that we were going to maybe 3D print some of the characters. We ended up going meeple style so that we could do it sort of uh, with vector art. But like part of this was is like, hey, we need to we need AI to come up with 3D models for us. Oh, God. And so we did some of that a little bit. And man, I mean, it came out OK, but it was not super great. There's some of that. In oh, our are, we are we about to make a 3D model? We're just, right? about, we're just making 3D oh, models right now snap. out of text prompts. <laughs> so what this is, this is Bezzy.com. All right. And and what it does is it takes it just says, hey, put in some text prompts and we'll we'll create some 3d models for you and it does the okay. exact same thing as chat gbt or or um uh, mid journey it gives you like four four of them that you might like and then you go yeah i want to up res one like which makes it you know more like dense with the polygons or whatever and am i am i doing it right am i starting it right you know i'll be here? honest i did a test one of a cyclops skull oh, <laughs> under our account is but it in there? i don't know i don't know i assume it's in there in our library well, well how somewhere. do so what, did i click the right button i click new file 
I don't know. Like uh, when I did it, it was sending me. Thank you, a whole, <laughs> When it was uh, it, when I did it, it you know it had a whole tutorial. So I Adam, mean, Adam, the the software genius, just figure it out. How do I get into? Um, I feel like I'm making. In a, I'm in a in a 3D area here. Yeah, there's some prompting going on over yeah, here. Yeah, so we want to we want to make we want to make a uh, uh, text text to 3D <laughs> prompt states. All right, let's see here. Well, no. they, there's their different states. So there's AI. There's the AI down here. Oh, here we go. Okay, Answer and you prompt. can see. You can see my prompt. Oh, you can't see it. The, we're in the way. Okay. We're going to take ourselves off. We don't need. Oh, well, look at it. It's perfect. Yeah, it's perfect. Perfectly. Okay, so point, I did a Cyclops that. skull with a green jewel in the eye it, socket. Is that what this is? No. Okay. Uh, but do you want to look at that one or do you want like, to do, do it yourself? I don't know. How do I get maybe to it. click on it here. Oh, okay. So there was there, you know, not so bad. Can not you terrible. can you like pull it up a little? I think I can like click a button. There we go. So that was that was the Cyclops skull with a green jewel in the eye. Oh, that one looks kind of like our skull, right? Oh, like, look at it. It's like it's like <laughs> yeah. it's two eyes there, but it's like, hey, no, it's still Cyclops. It was like the nose socket or something of the, that one. <laughs> that one has two eyes, so <laughs> no, like that's already out. Like the, the third one, I feel like. Uh, you know, it's kind of doofy. It looks like a like an alien, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, hey, he's a, you know, it could be an alien. Or, or the fourth one is kind of. But like, I thought that was pretty good Watch for me, just putting in a random yeah, prompt, yeah, right? It's pretty fourth one ish. I don't know if I like that one. I like this one. I yeah. actually like the second one. The second this one. one. The second one feels like uh, this. This one feels like cartoony. It almost feels like um, this kind of looks more like, like Odd World almost. The yeah. second one looks like it should be in a Metroid game. <laughs> yeah, I'd say that out of all of them, this one definitely has the coolest. And then look, you can upscale the model or create vari variations, right? Like any of that stuff. So do you want to do you want to put in something that we can? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. What should we create? Yeah, yeah. We should do I a Game know. Boy stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm just so gonna try. Put, um, can I put a Game Boy game? Like Game Boy? Game Boy. Um, Handheld. Game Boy. <laughs> game Boy. It's it's the new one, right? It's the new. It's the new. Uh, my, my typing dinner. skills have been very... Uh, wait, what is this stuff that comes up underneath? I think it's trying to look up something. So if you went like Game Boy game and it already had a Game Boy game, let's it would do, show you that. Let's do handheld gaming system. Uh, like with Steampunk. With do we have to like describe it like no, ChatGPT? Like look at so some of these slow model poly game these Triassic are, these are, Gothic look style. Look at all this stored. pirate stuff. Kylie would be loving on this one right now. But I but I thought that was pretty like we'll see how this comes out. Should you I know, just do these would be handheld gaming system? Sure. All right, I'm just gonna do that. I it was, looks like we have one. No, generate. it costs one credit. Oh, gotcha. It costs one to generate, and I think they gave us ten. So I did one already. Yeah, like I, but like it's pretty fast, oh, oh, right? Look at that. Like I thought that was like pretty good that is actually good oh let's see here i want to put game boy though into it does this get i'm gonna game boy like but like i, I want something to like do something different do it like made of wood or something or like retro um, uh or uh why would you make it out of wood no i don't know that that was a bad suggestion maybe like <laughs> uh uh like futuristic retro game boy future retro futuristic <laughs> oh no steampunk you said steampunk right yeah all right we're gonna do that steampunk seems to be like a keyword to make things fusion fusion powered yeah <laughs> oh shoot <laughs> already hit the button we, already, we got eight more <laughs> we got eight more oh yeah it's like it's like uh it's it, like a taser one <laughs> yeah it, it looks like it's a uh, out of um the so that, do i pick one then? the new fallout do i have like how do i get this up on the screen like i, can't I think you can it. drag like you know on oh. photoshop you can like drag that section up yeah no i can't like right here see right there uh, see yeah. it, it, it no i want uh, i want this to be up here oh is that there it is there it is there it is all right let's see this one <laughs> it's like i you know, melted in a fire yeah totally it looks like definitely um, game boyish right with like the little battery and oh, wait, wait. stuff. I, I got to do this. I was steam, oh, was steampunk fusion powered. We got to do that. We got to don't do don't do steampunk then. Do fusion powered, but without steampunk. Got it. Because it's too many. Uh, yeah, or, too many like things for it to try to figure out. Retro though, right? Handheld gaming system retro fusion powered. 
Sure. Enough. I think retro. We're about the retro on yeah, the show, yeah. so we got to do that. Yeah. Rolling the dice. What would make it fusion powered? <laughs> it's like nothing. <laughs> like these ones actually just have a games game on it. It's just a game. Oh yeah, they do. Wait, I can't. I can't click them like we were before. Like expand or whatever. Is it right click? No, it, it had some other things on it before. Nuclear. Oh. Yeah, it's almost like I wonder how much it needs. Oh, it was doing it still. It was still making them. That's why I couldn't do it. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's true. This one. <laughs> yeah, definitely. But I feel like these have gotten a lot better than they were before. That one's cool. That's definitely Game Boy esque. Yeah. This one looks like a Game, Game Boy Gear. Actually, like a Sega. Yeah, Game Gear. You're right. Good job, Ryan. Yep. Knowing that. <laughs> and this is the one. I'm gonna hit upscale. I want to see what sure. an upscale does. Yeah. Or should we do variations? Uh, is it just gonna be different, like colors of that one? All right, or we'll just upscale it. We're gonna upscale in. Yeah, I want to see what like the. Yeah, is it is it just add more sort of vertices to it? I guess makes it clear, right? It's like here's a, a shot. I like this. It's like gonna last for a thousand years. You never have to charge the thing. <laughs> oh wait, it disappeared. Did it upscale? Oh, I don't no. know. I is that the one down here? Oh, it's upscaling right now. And then how do you get it into this? I don't like. Yeah, I you're, was wondering. You're like you're the you're the tech. Yeah, hey, expert, you're the. Man. I just I just, I'm the idea guy. I just bring the ideas forward, and you figure it out. There's two states, so it's it's generating a 3D okay. thing right now. Well, because I was like, oh, it'd be cool, you know it. The, the original print. idea was like 3D printing something, right? Well, let's 3D print so this. Would, let's see if we can so get this going. Do it, but they do. You should, um, yeah, you should tell them. We have five it's more credits left. I know. Man, they should have have that indicator. But they made the sweet AI that does all the things. Yeah, like, but you couldn't put like a swirling logo that that shows me that something is happening. You could have written a, a chat GPT script to <laughs> make like, that happen. The, the, this software could probably figure that out for you if you just told it to it is taking a minute here i really want to see it but they must yeah. be really thinking about it hard they're going they're going deep on this one. but again like you know here, here's here's what i would say and we can get into this when we get into our game but yeah, like yeah. part of part of why the ai has not been as helpful as i had hoped it would be for our game is that like what it creates is very messy right like even those 3d models it doesn't like come to a crisp edge yeah. and have a 40 degree bevel right it looks like like you said it looks like a game boy that got melted in a fire <laughs> yeah you know like and it would be fine for like throwing a bunch of crap onto the ground of a 3d generated like world you know that was like a fallout world and you just need to put have objects in the world that, that just exists there but actually having it it is an amazing you know 3d model that you would want to print out i just like don't think it's there same way that it, when it creates pixel art and I'm trying to get it into a sprite in a certain amount of pixels. It's like so m muddy that like I end up having to uh, oftentimes just like basically fix it myself anyway in a sprite. That's, I mean that's good now. A gen, you know, in the future maybe oh, not yeah. so much. But. A hundred, you know, again, it's like it's taking it, it's it's eating up everything at some point. I wonder, just like, do people just not care enough about uh, uh, pixel art for to train it on enough of that? I guess. I guess not. But you know what? We're gonna let that thing go because it's taking its time. We're yeah. just, let's move on to the next one. What is this next version of okay. something? So what so we got here we we looked at we looked at Suno like a while ago when we actually were ready. I mean, literally, this could have been two months ago. We looked at this thing uh because we were talking about our video game and we yeah, needed yeah. to create music for it and so what this Ooh. is is like it creates it creates music out of text prompts and what it, what i found interesting about this release like this new big one that they're that they're putting out is that like it not it probably is not great for our for our what we're doing but what what is interesting is it will do all of the lyrics and everything and sing it and have Ooh. like I mean it's a full on song. I see there are some Russians that you that are, are into this. Yeah, yeah, yeah totally. Heavy. Like we a can, whole we bunch cannot of them. do generations because they're temporary only enabled for subscribers. So we're gonna have to look at what's already what? been generated. I I created one. Read it. Due to system upgrades. Well, can we can we generation. look at my can we look at our library? I don't know. Oh yeah, here we go. What did you make? 
Oh, oh, because you gotta, yeah, you gotta, you gotta sign us in. Oh, we. Well, I, I thought that, we were signed in. That's what you were supposed to be doing. Oh, that Ryan. was like, what? does it not look like we're signed into that? I don't know. I'm I just because because we had looked at it before. I was like, oh, it just it just already figured it out. We'll be in in just a minute here. We're doing our little tech stuff behind the scenes, so, logging so in. The oh very, my god, all those passwords that just popped on the screen. So so the very so the cool thing that I thought was they have like community stuff that you can do, right? Well, so we should we should not do. Are we, you can look at ours. It, yeah, it let's was like, ours. Okay, we're, okay back. So, we're logged in. So here's, so, so I thought this was pretty funny. I was like, does it show the, does it show what the, uh, uh, prompt was? No. Can we, can we like right here? Oh, oh God. No. Okay. Oh, it's like, we're, we're I want to know You're what doxing the, us. Yeah. Like, can you prompt? What was the prompt? I don't think so. Ah, anyway. Oh, what I did was, is I was like, I need an eight, you know, I need a, oh God, I need I'm so a, excited. I need a, Let's play um, this. no, well, so I was like, I want chip tune synth pop, <laughs> like about, uh, owning a, 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 a tavern or something like that. I think I said, I can't remember exactly what, what the prompt was. Anyway, this go. is really terrible. Oh, it's bad. In a world of circuitry, where the beats collide, there's a brewing symphony, something that's deep inside. <laughs> yeah, it was like Get about owning a brewery. My fellow friends, let the kids play. Chip tunes play, but I was like, no, I want the style chip tunes. This is amazing, Ryan. Today. Good, right? I like that. Oh. Because I was like, it's for a Game Boy game, I think I said. This is, I, this is no one that shit is. This is amazing. Come on, let's respect this amazingness. Okay, look at the variation. Watch the, re do the variation. Wait, I want to hear this. This is like the end credit song. <laughs> like at the end of our game, <laughs> man, that is a full song. Like it's a full song, two holy minute song. Holy crap! Two minute song about it. Yeah, exactly. Mike is a little taller. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Watch. Okay, okay pause okay. it. That was okay, so one. they so they just gave us two versions. I like the other version better. Okay, that was a good one. All right, let's. let's... So it's the same song lyrics. It's a little like. It's a little poppier. It's a little Imagine Dragons, you know, but. <laughs> okay, we gotta make a song. What are we making our song on? We can't, remember? No, because now you're signed in. Damn, I'm oh, gonna be due to system upgrades. Oh yeah, okay. We anyway. I mean are we subbed or not? No. Yeah, I think so. Okay. I'm glad you made these. These are freaking amazing. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> this is going on our site. Can we can we use this with yeah. some copyright on this? Oh Anything? hell, dude. Copyright? Are you kidding me? This is stealing from everyone on the internet, making our own copyright free shit. This is our like this is our next anthem. Come on! With bleeps and bloops, we'll conquer <laughs> obstacles we face, bro! <laughs> With bleeps and bloops. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, shit. Like this, like, breakdown? Man. Hell yeah. Nice. Double drop It's a down. banger. It's a banger. <laughs> that is a banger. It slaps. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you for that. I want that so hard. That was a good song. I love it. One one text prompt, one text prompt. That's all it took. There's a video associated. Oh, that's the your like little. I can no. I I don't think it's a. You could just download the the just freaking straight up thing. download. We we got ten credits, same as the last place. All right, we're, Grammy we're award winning now, happy adventure. I would say if you go, so we we don't need to do this now, but if you were interested, go to go to Suno and like click on some of the like. Uh, uh, community upvote most upvoted songs that people have done, and like 
there the number one one that I saw was like this ska pop punk song. We should listen to it. Let's just do one. That's, yeah. it's too impressive not to. So, so God, I can't remember. Like well, it was. Can we just do one of the top ones? Not maybe the Russian one. No, um, like because it's just in a different. It's in a different. Uh, I am salmon. Salmon. Yeah, like keep going. Keep. We got to do. I am upbeat, salmon. Upbeat it's top. Rock. Why is okay, that one at sure. the top? Sure. Yeah. All right. How do you play it? Just. Like, click on it, I guess. Oh, you hear it? Like, play, maybe? Okay, here we go. Like, what is art and music anymore? <laughs> Four minutes of this shit. <laughs> Holy crap! This is amazing. Like this would have been on the Billboard Top Ten in 1997. <laughs> Are we gonna get taken down on a copyright yeah, violation on this? Of salmon. <laughs> oh my god! If you listen to Sam, man, I can't. How do you? How do we upvote that? That is totally <laughs> upvote. You get that? I'll upvote that. Baby. Hell yeah. Yeah. That's, anyway, that's amazing. Go check out Suno, I guess. Man, like on a, and what was that? We tried that two, t three months ago when we talked about this project, oh, and crying. I brought this in of like what we could do, and it didn't do lyrics, it didn't do types of certain types of music, like the the speed that this stuff is happening. Like that is, just sounds like a pop song. I would hear, you know, I mean, not like. Not the best pop song, but for that from three months ago. In three months, is that going to be just everyone's pop song? I don't know. I know it's like I mean that was I, want, I would go to listen to that <laughs> damn the band. Salmon. It's, okay, we're gonna try to create here because apparently you can. Um, we're gonna give it a oh, try regardless. Okay, let's see Available if we can do. To, okay, yeah. What we, do we want to do? Gotta... Come on, chat. This is your. This is our oh song tonight. Okay. Oh, we got Hoppy Adventure. Yeah, <laughs> and it came up with the name Hoppy Adventure because I was like, it's an adventure game that we're creating about brewing, and it came up with Hoppy Adventure, which I thought was great. <laughs> a retro punk song about two guys podcasting okay. in a basement. That, oh my god! Really you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna do some incestuous AI work right now. What we're going to do is we're going to chat GPT. Um, let me log in my chat GPT for a second. We're going to have it help us come up with the prompt for a song. Um, and this should be good. I got to hide my my prior my, my prior prompts. I, I prompt so much anymore. I want to share what I'm prompting. All right. So here we go. We're going to say, how can we make a song with the theme? Of and we're using our subscribers, Mike Azul's suggestion. All right, we're gonna take this. Credit rep. Okay. Energy and ethos of the punk rock. Okay, let's do that. Basement broadcast. I love it. <laughs> Celebrate the raw and filtered dialogue between the two hosts. Shoot, they're giving everything like verses, choruses, bridges. I'm down. This is good. Jesus Christ. So what we did is we asked uh, ChatGPT to help us figure out how to make the song so we could prompt it using ChatGPT. This and it came up with these like six pages of text we're supposed to put in here. <laughs> I'm gonna try it. No, we don't get Mid Journey anymore. I am like a super fanboy of ChatGPT. I I use it like ten times. Oh, have you used? Have you made the assistance? Mm -mm. Oh my god, we almost have to make an assistant tonight. Oh no, well, so I've done it. I've done. I did it in Playground. Oh before. god, I gotta show Ryan this. I don't know how I'm gonna do this with like hiding some of the stuff. Let's see here. We're gonna take this, 
and we're gonna we're, let's see. I'm, I'm, Dude, it's not gonna take a thousand word prompt. Let's into try this. it. We're trying it. <laughs> oh wait, oh it does cut off. Where does it cut off? Oh, God bless America. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 like three sentences. D- tell it to give you that same thing, but put it in okay. A hundred and fifty characters. Give that in one fifty k. I cannot believe you have not figured out the assistance. No. Oh my! I God. did the assistance in Playground before. But it's a it's a thing now. It's like a whole deal with ChatGPT. Um. Oh, I put characters, not words. That's probably. Oh right, yeah. Um. Is it is it is it borking on me? All right, hold on a second. Let me re- let me refresh this. Unable to load the conversation. All right, we're just gonna go raw. We're gonna go with it in yeah, in yeah. Suno. So, from the chat, I'm just gonna do verbatim what you said here. Here we go. Well, I like I love the name is title uh, basement broadcast because that's cool. Okay. Okay. Here we go. All right. How long does this take? Current generation only available for Pro and Premiere. Yeah, we're gonna make you. this one and we're gonna share it next show. I have it in here. Get on the Discord. Set up. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna do a quick pivot and I I, I can't show my prompts for a second, but I want to show Ryan something. Yeah. So if you're in ChatGPT and I've noticed this a few times before, where it like maybe it logged me out. Let me see if it did. They like do updates, of course, at night time, which I guess makes sense. This is a new update? You know what? I wonder if all of them they're doing updates. And that one uses chat GPT to do the thing. Because I'm logging into my um, OpenAI. Let me just log in and make sure I'm logged in. Oh, and it's like not working? Yeah. I just need to log it in. Let me see. Let me just make sure. Because it was on chat. Because chat GPT just recently opened up without having to have a login. Did you hear about this? Mm-mm. You can use chat GPT without a login. They're, they're freaking doing updates. So I can't even show you this. I've seen this happen multiple times. It's like in nighttime, they're like, hey, sorry, we can't get into this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just screw it up the hangout. Open AI. Uh, what the heck? Come on, Sam Altman. So let me just describe it quickly. On the left hand side of your chat GPT, you can go in. It'll say create an assistant and you click it and it goes into a whole interface where you give it a prompt and it gives it keywords and you save it and you can publicly make it available or use it for yourself. And then anytime you wanna use that prompt, you click on it and then it uses all of that like data, but it's built into ChatGPT. Yeah. So I have like, here's my prompt for GB Studio when I need to ask it questions for the, so it doesn't totally. tell me how to do it, but it's like, I'm like, hey, look at the documentation and tell me how y'all do this stuff. <laughs> wait, wait. There's duck a dance. duck dance on there on Suno. All right. Well, let me see if I can figure that one out. And, and then we're going to we're going to move on. But um, because that's kind of what I did in the playground, because the playground is sort of the beta side of that. But I haven't done it in the full. Can the you full look? Version. Can you look up songs? Oh, he put it in the chat. Oh. Gotcha. We're, we're going to listen to duck. What is it? Duck dance. Duck dance. All right. Here we go. Got to get this this URL out of chat. I I feel like even more than than video or or uh, or photos. I feel like making funny little songs with AI <laughs> would be really would be like a really fun afternoon to to spend We're, messing around with uh with friends. Paddle, rattle, splish, splash, quick, quack, splish, splash. You gotta put the the, the, the lyrics up. I love that beat though. Good. Drop that beat, they bro. Know, they know. Now we see we just need the fast rapping. Like it needs like a part where like it just rolls off a whole thing. Quick, quick, swish, quick, 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 it's a battle pass. Oh man, that's good. I love it. It's fun. 
<laughs> oh, that! Thank you for bringing that. Like, I did not know what to expect tonight, and you brought it right. And that nice. was that was some good shit. Good. So, I thought those were fun. They're hella fun. Uh, of the of the stuff that I read about and did this week, those were the most fun. Like, there's so many freaking um, AIs out there. It's just like insane. That <laughs> well, because now much. is now is the time when like everyone can like build it into their own little fun software website that they that they made up that that does this, and nobody knows how to monetize it any, yet, and so they're just trying to get attention so they give you a bunch of free credits like it's a fun time to be playing with that kind of stuff i know it's it feels like it's the golden age of ai yeah. we're not going to do it i'm going to keep it on this screen because chat gpt is giving us some crap right now but what uh i did want to show you is this is the gpt creator so what happens is if you get into chat gpt and you have a subscription uh, you'll see in the upper left hand corner there's like a little pencil that goes over a, a, a little square and you yeah. click it and then you can hit create and so what it does is you create a little prompt and then it will give you some information so you can name your chat GPT you cool. give it a description all kinds of instructions it has starters and like this all of great. this stuff and then what we you, what you end up doing is you save it and it's th it's there in your yeah. chat GPT forever on how you make that happen. And so then you just, pr you click on that one and then every time you prompt it, it uses everything from that assistant. So you're creating all these different assistants. If you have like a work one, which yeah. I do, and then I have a one for like, how I can like make better communications or one for GB Studio. There's all these different ways that you can start to leverage that. And like, I think that's awesome. And there's yeah. also like a team one um, that you can that you can build out. Like, so if we got in it together, we could buy the team version, which I was going to actually talk to you about, yeah. which I thought would be really cool. Now, for some reason, my um, <laughs> because they're updating right now, my my freaking uh, things are not loading my GPTs. Yeah. Um, but it, yeah. and I've seen this like on a couple nights where you go in there and everything's all like loading it itself up, and then you go create another one, and then it'll be there the next day. All right, let's move on with the show. We got some. <laughs> like, we got, we why got is, why is it my why is it my like AGI basically uh, uh, that I pay twenty dollars a month for up ninety nine percent of the time. Yes. You're like, what the fish? <laughs> all right, so we're gonna play a few games here tonight before we Ooh. get into it. So uh, we have been studying games, and here's the thing. Um, Mike Azul had got an analog pocket. Thank you. Yeah. He's been helping. He's and so if you get the analog pocket or you're in our Discord, you're going to get the drops of our game as we start to build it. And so Mike and Azul and has just been able to do and it. just the the web browser version is in there too. So it, even even if you didn't uh, uh, ha have the money to buy an analog pocket, you, you we're not asking you to buy one. Yeah. But if you if you have some of the systems that can, you get even different downloads i've been giving pocket downloads uh so you can see that out but we want everyone to be able to play so we're being non-capitalistic and not making you go and buy something exactly a 300 dollar piece of but if you do if you don't whichever you get to play the game uh on your phone or whatnot uh it's interesting my brother is uh he and i used to play a lot of games together <laughs> nice on on game boy and uh yeah we should give one away that hey, would be actually good analog pockets we, once we hit uh uh a thousand subscribers are getting to our patreon analog. yeah <laughs> uh but no what my brother and i used to play game boy that was like our thing our, my brother and i bought game boys we didn't get to watch a lot of tv when we were kids we were like forced to like basically get game boy that was the only thing that we like lived on so that's why i love it so much my parents thought like tv was not good for us and they didn't want us to buy game like actual consoles and so we saved up money and we individually bought game boys and that was like the one thing that we could do by ourselves in our room and we like would buy game boy games and that's why i love it yeah and so our life was around playing like game boys and that's why i like it right now and i know you didn't play them as much maybe i had um, a game boy but yeah I did. it wasn't my only console though so it was yeah. sort of like a car ride thing you know that, that i would play the mario on but. so it was funny because he's like not into that anymore i brought my analog pocket to his house when i visited last <laughs> week and, and he, he was, was like he was playing it and he's like yeah i'm really bad at your game and then I showed him that like there was Doom on there, and he is like a massive Doom fan. Huh, and okay. apparently, and he's played Doom on his like that. his iPhone, and he I guess he really loved it. But they changed the controls, and he everyone's all PO'd. Mm. And so then I showed him that Dune was on there, 
and he played it for like two hours straight and then <laughs> nice. the other day he's like i'm buying one of those things where nice. are they at and so he wants to buy it cool. just to play doom because he played the game boy advanced version of it and started playing it so anyways it was just cool because people love playing retro games yeah. and playing cool stuff the thing that's interesting to me though is that I just didn't realize until the last couple years how many people are actually still building games for it. And that's what got us all hyped on GP Studio. Yeah. So we figured we'd play a couple games. Because if there was no platform for us to be building a game on, we would have had to move over to, you know, Unity or or one of those other, like, uh, smaller game platforms. But, like, having GP Studio. Now, what you're going to show I don't think is GP Studio, right? This one I think is GP Studio. Is it? Maybe it isn't. I don't think so. So some of these games have retro feels that are like GB Studio and other ones are not. So we'll actually, let's see here. This says it was a game. Yeah, I don't think this one was a GB Studio game. You can, so try playing, do you want to, uh, Cuckoo's Castle is the is the Game Boy one. <laughs> let's see here. I just wanted to play some of these Game Boy sure. ones. Like let's start with Duck Soup because I just like the retro feel. So what was cool about this one to me is you get to like pick your character. Yeah, you don't. You have zero gold. You're going with slash chicken. Yes, you are. What are the controls? Did they tell you? It's only it's two buttons, right? So yeah, let's look. So if you've never been on itch, we'll go. We'll check these guys in the chat here. You go go here and play these games for free. It doesn't tell you. It's only two buttons. You'll probably figure it out. Okay. But what are the buttons to make me go forward? A. You just select. Alright, you just select this guy. D, Z. I'm clicking every single button on the screen. Okay. Oh, you hit it. It was a D and F. Something. Oh yeah, there it is. It's D and F. I like the coloring of this one. Well, it's like neat that like, the light follows them. So it's dark until you get like near it. So this is like a platformer. So we were thinking from our game when we platform, we have to probably talk loud. This is really loud. I like the little door. Oh, you have that. Well, I think that's for us. I don't know if everyone else can hear sure. that. Or hey, I want it to be for us. <laughs> Fair enough. Is it, too, is it too loud? Let, let chat. If it, yeah, you need to let us know. Can you even hear us still? Because I don't know if you, when we turn. Oh, skeleton. Kill that little. I like the idea. I like the idea that. um. Nice. Great. I like the, uh, I like how he jumps a bunch. Like you could just, you just hit. So like, just hit, you just hit jump a bunch. Yeah. <laughs> and he, he just like, like jumps, 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 jumps. Whoa. He just goes like jump, 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 jump. You just jump whatever you want. I also like the idea of like when you hit somebody, it like pauses or does like ah, and then it has that that like boom where they die at the end. Like is a cool like a little screen shake. Yeah. Oh yeah, like a little explosion. And then you're like gaining <laughs> XP at the bottom. Oh, I didn't so even notice like that. Okay, there's a door there I can't get to. What I liked about this game, number one, is like I was thinking about platforming and like what's cool about it. Yeah. In the corners? So we do not oh, think right. that... Yeah, like you're going around. Like you're the light source. Oh, I just exploded. So Dude, we uh... do not think this is a Game Boy Studio game. So I know that you can you keep collecting coins. So you'll see that I got 27 coins. So if you, you go through there, you can't, pig. You you can't, can't get anything pig, until yeah. you keep doing this over and over. And it, like in the corner, it's like floor one, level one, HP three of three. So that's how many hits you have. Yeah, I love his little floatiness. I like the skeleton characters. Oh, he's you're like, ah. I'm doing bad at this one. Hey, get off my butt, you little guy. I also don't play very many um, games on keyboard. Like, I play our game with a controller. <laughs> How do you play with a controller? On I, your con I, have a Bluetooth, I have a Bluetooth Xbox controller. On your phone? No, on the computer. I play it on oh, the computer. Oh, you play on the computer. Okay, so we just wanted to show oh, that 43. game. 
because what was cool about it is this is what itch is about there's yeah. so many games on itch if you've never played uh done anything on itch so check out itch for sure um try try their earlier <laughs> one just real quick did, did they link on it off yeah this right one? down below cuckoo's castle this looks like an actual game boy gb studio maybe game let's see here it'll usually tell you left right d and f wait what's q pig statue let's see here usually no this doesn't look like this because it has zips and stuff so usually it, i think they they've done this in another there could be i don't know that's it's interesting they use dnf why would they use dnf i don't know it's in the middle of the keyboards kind of i like the pixel art though it looks yeah. cool this definitely looks yeah and, but I didn't know like that rain and stuff yeah. like that. There's some ways I thought about it. Yeah, I don't not think this is Game Boy Studio. So our game. Oh, look at that cute kid, little cat there. But I, but I thought it was sort of, you know, like I like the idea of like the little sign that says like, hey, you could talk to this guy. Press up. There's right? a whole like, category of like games that are looking retro but not retro, and I think this may be the next version. If 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 our game is fun and people want to do it, I've been thinking about up in the game and doing it on like a on the thing like that there is no way this is a game boy game with that little like four that that yeah the you can't do that in game boy i mean there's a way you could but it's i don't think it would be that great the the, the lighting and stuff like yeah so no that is not a game but anyway i thought it was like maybe the right amount of pixels for the game right like it looks like that so it just has better capability like all those little particle effects and stuff like that like no way no way in hell it was doing any of that that like pulsating light from the background (laughs) can i jump onto this like little ledge oh yeah you can so he's got to hold it yeah so I love this. So it gives us some like gauge of what the, our our game is gonna look like. I'm so excited to talk about our game today. Can yeah. I can I shoot the kill these things? No. no. But you can like basically float in the air all the time if you just keep pressing. Uh, punch. You gotta let her go. Oh. Oh, I gotta push it up. So maybe that's the thing we can do. Hey, 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 what's up? Oh, I have to talk to her. You saved me. Yep, see ya. <laughs> We're good. But I like the idea of like when you can interact with something, it has like a button or like press up and then and then we, crap we, some zombies. And they come yeah. back out of the ground, so be careful. Yeah. Punks. <laughs> Man, this is But I like that I like that brick background that's from this. Like that okay. looks nice. Ryan, what one thing I need you to do right now, watch this sword animation. Okay, so he's holding it like that. And then it's like up and then down, right? Yeah. Up and down. Right. So we're gonna pl- we're gonna play with it. This is I almost want you to write that down. Like will you will you remember this from an art thing? I need you to remember this moment. Okay. We're gonna do something in our game with a a melee today. Alright. So I need I need that because this is I've been trying I needed your help and I'm like holy crap this is it <laughs> right here okay so I think that's a cool game yeah. if you want to check this one it's it's off the the link we already put in there I definitely like those lighting effects I I think that's awesome all right next one up uh let's see here do I have to download it no I don't have to download it. I can just play it right or do I it's a hmm. GB Studio game I should be able to play it in the browser. Or maybe I can't. Guess I gotta download it. We're gonna skip that one then. We're gonna run this one in the browser. Okay, so just to give you some ideas, this definitely has the same kind of vibes of a Game Boy game. This is around where we're headed with it. So And this is it this is made by G B Studio? This is a GB Studio game, so I think I have to click on here to Cold Nights. Currently there's no music or sound in the game. So this is a this is a demo. Yeah. And so what I liked about it, number one, why I brought this up is you get these like backgrounds and we were going to tell the story in our game. And I think it's important for us to start to think about like, how do we tell that story? And I love the idea of this just flickering, but it seems like the plane is flying, right? Like the, uh, and it's going to be hard to nail some of these things. Um, I'm trying to figure out how to get three lines of text, but one of the things that I liked about it is that, okay, now this is Zelda like, yeah. This is like the RPG over the the top down. But what I liked was, okay, so you get the backpack and then it shows you and like it pops some things out of the top. You're like starting to see like what you have. So our game is going to have things yeah. like this 
to be able to and let's see if I can get start. So little menu. I love that. You go into items. This is like crafting and combining them. Like it has some cool things you can yeah. do with it. I like I love it. You can merge items. So I played this game a little while. Um it has like a little cursor that you can go around mm. and you can like inspect an item. It tells you what it is. So these are little elements that I liked, and I just wanted to show you that we could do that. So if we go to, I don't think there's much else. Oh, it's showing you like what to combine. Little inventory deals, how you can get out of that. So pretty cool, right? Yeah. Now the thing is, how the heck do I get out of it? I don't, I don't, I don't know. Oh, I just hit the actual escape button thinking I could escape out. So we'd have to go figure out what the, the, the buttons are on this because I have no idea how to get back out of this one. Well, what was the button to get in? Do you remember? It was, there we go. So it was Z. So oh, there we go. So you go to that and have, st oh, wait, I want to see what status is. Look at that. Dang. Snowstorm equipment life. Eight today. No sick. No tired. No. Interesting. This reminds me of a uh, drug wars. Did you ever play that <laughs> no. on, on the, on the, uh, TI-82, those, cal <laughs> those calculators no. that you have. Oh, man, that's where I learned to program. So anyways, cool little world. Those trees are looking sweet. You just, like, are walking through different pieces. You have this whole inventory. Uh-oh, something happened. There's a little shake going I on. I like the idea of, like, it pausing for the story and just something happening and words coming up and then keeping let's see, going. Let's go see what this sign has to say. Yeah, he's going to go find... He, so he nice. crashed his plane. Thankfully, he's good. There's some snow coming up here. Let's see what's going on with this snow. Nope. I'll uh, see. Yeah. Cool. Little, all right. Little events. So all of this stuff, like, yeah. I know exactly how they're doing some of these things. And I'm like, yes, this makes a lot of sense. Perfect. So our game is going to be a platformer version of yeah. an RPG is what I'm, I'm, I'm expecting. So yeah. I wanted to go in and just show you some yeah. ideas on some games That's that people great. have been making. Because the thing that I've been noticing is people will have, this is, this is the, like, what the page looks like. Okay. You have... A Game Boy mock-up. They have some screenshots of what the game looks like. And then you get to create all of the backgrounds and, like, what this might look like. So what I'm going to do for just a second, let me get uh, logged into the J uh, Game Boy Studio. What what are you taking away from some of the stuff that you're seeing with Itch? Have you been enjoying the pixel art as you've been going around? Or I'm just curious from your perspective. Yeah. No, I mean, from, from what I've been playing, it, it seems like uh, there's lots of different like ways that you can approach these types of games that sort of that I was looking at in the necessarily like the tutorial stuff or the, or the things that they give you that goes like obviously way beyond that. So, so even it seems like for our game, it's kind of which direction do we feel like is feasible for, for what our ability level is, I guess at this point, y you know, and what do we feel is like realistic that we could finish in that amount of time? Because it does seem like you were saying, you know, you could take it a million different directions and try a different bunch of things. It feels, y you know, like there's a lot that you could do even within this confines of these, you know, Game Boy games. But so it's kind of like, what do we want to do? Well, and, and that's what I was going to get at is we're going about to get into the game a little bit in a minute here, but here's our page on yeah. itch. So nice. if you're interested at in doing this and you haven't seen it yet, there's our itch page. So we talk about little controls and we just got to doctor this page up a little bit better, Yeah. but you can play our game right here in browser <laughs> and there it is. Double drop down. Hey, and, and hey, be, be careful. careful. Yeah. Did you see it? Yeah. You nice. gave us that, that little giving intro us, piece. So us, uh, pixel art help. Heck Love yeah. It. So one of the things I wanted to talk about at this, this, uh, point is the this is alpha um hell yeah thank you totally, it was it was you. awesome I, okay we, we got to do it again for him let's 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 refresh the page <laughs> gotta gotta see it we run the game here it comes Bam. yeah there it is <laughs> that was made by be careful if you're not uh familiar with it the the little double drop down that was on that front we, we kept it just the the way you did it so um but this is alpha one uh zero point 1.0 and i got this whole idea from chat gpt i was like how do game dev devs do this mm. and so i just copied what they did it came up with a framework so this is the official um point one 
when we're at 1.0 that's their official release right. we have the 0.1 alpha and actually we've already have a point uh 1.1 working right now and so i'm hoping to release that one pretty soon okay. and actually it might be a point two based off of some of the work that i've been doing okay. um, but we'll talk about that because you have some art that you wanted to show today and some yeah. other things but what i wanted to do is just do a quick uh run through of our game of where we're at right now so we have a little roby in there and this is the one that's on itch.io so what you're gonna see in a little bit is the 1.1 or 0.1.1 in a little bit but uh what we created was a little roby running around he's green i actually recolored him we have a little ghost running around one of the things that i let's see if i figured if i fixed it with this one i did so this this pushing this thing now will um you'll only push once away. Like I can, I can't run away from it and it keeps pushing. Oh, that was sure. like a little yeah, that fix. Was like a weird thing. So you can kind of push it once, push it once. The only downside is if I touch it and I turn around, like I could pull it towards him, but ah, sure. that's, that's the only part of it. Sure. But the other thing is I have this, like you come up here and you can pick up the vial. And then I have this thing where you have these little cool dashes that come into it yep. so you can run around. But one of the things I wanted to show you, and we were just playing with this one, is if I try to go into this like locked looking door, it'll be, and so I'm holding up. It's like, you need a key. Okay, we gotta go find a key. And it's question mark. I love that. It's like, like yeah. what's going on? Mm -hmm. So if you go into this door, you can see in the upper left-hand side of the screen, there's a, a paper. And so if you try to like jump to it, you can't get it. Like if you just try to get to it, yeah, it is like totally hard to get to. So what you have to do is you have to have this dash that you have to be able to get to it. And we're gonna get to it in a second because I wanted to show you one thing that we've been really interested at trying to do is if I went to this picture and I hit up, it's like Robert Decker climbed the peak okay. of Mount Pomari, right? And every time I do that, it's gonna say the same thing. Sure. Okay. So there's all these little interactions. I can go to this, hit up, Nice. <laughs> was, did you make this? I did. So I made that little song. So there's all these little things I was just testing out yeah, in yeah. here. So you saw that when you went to that picture, every time it says he climbed the mountain. So one of the things, and, I, and it's going to take me a few tries to get this, is I made it really hard where you have to jump and double tap with that little jump to get to it. Yeah. Which I got it. So then it's like you picked up a torn page. And then I love the idea that we're hinting like the real skull is hidden. And then the, you're like, oh, my God, where yeah, is it hidden? Right. And like the rest of the page is unreadable. Right. Damn it. But then this is the big aha moment for me is we were like, you can have pieces. And if you've watched yeah. the show, watch the Ew. original episode, episode zero, <laughs> we were able to figure out how to get it into the game. So I'm like, that's cool. We can really help tell the story. Now, here was the cool part by the by touching that page. I can now go over to this sign and I hit up before. And what is it? Robert Decker climbed Mount Pomari. Yeah. You turn over the picture. Mm. And so when you do that, and this is bad and we got to fix it. Sure. But that's the crash spaceship. Right. So I like the idea. And then I said it just so you can say crash sure. spaceship. What are you hiding? Nice. So, so like you can help tell the story yeah. by finding little pieces and parts. Totally. And so then I had all these doors and because this is an alpha, you know, the museum's closed. So there's going to yeah. be a museum there at some point. Bathrooms being cleaned. <laughs> so it's like little ways that you can have the doors. And then I have the explosion. And so I have to be able to do the 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 jump to do this. So I have to go to this menu. And, okay, I, well, let, me, let, me, let me nail this, Ryan. Oh, shit. It's going to be bad. Oh, sorry for I, the... I know. I would say that I, I have a hard time nailing this uh, grenade jump. There we go. And that's the fun part of it. you have to, like get the right thing. So I was trying to make some other rooms, try to see some things so you can run around in here and you have to use some grenade jumps. So you can get some guns and whatnot. So as, as of this demo, this version of it, like you can't toggle if you have a gun or something like that. Mm, right. That was, that was one of the things. So that's what I want to show you in just a second, what you can get to. So if I get this as a gun, you picked up a game boy, but for whatever reason, now you have a pistol. So now I can go ahead and shoot this this little ghost. But what yep. happens is when I leave out of this world, you lose your gun. Then it's gone, yeah. So I'm gonna go last down to this one. And I'm basically showing you how to beat this game if you haven't beat it yet. So 
You do have to do some grenade jumps. And then you get your key. So there's the key in the upper hand. Now, there's a glitch, and I had to fix this, is if I go to the left, you can completely bork the game, and you get stuck outside of the world. So oh, I'm, not, I'm trying not going to do that. <laughs> so I fixed that in the next version. So now that I got the key, one of the things is you saw me keep going to this menu, it shows you that I got the Game Boy, I got the key, I got the vial, and I got the page, and they're yeah. all in there. So cool little, like, menu that you can look. And this is all in the, you know, the first version. So if we just use just this... I feel like it could be yeah. a game. You could use all those elements to make the game. And now if I hold up on this, it's like you open the door and you get out. Nice. There. So you're able to get out of the Yay. game. There's like the you're door. unlocking, you're collecting things and unlocking Unlocking things. doors. And of course I made it because yeah, it was fun gotta, that you can you jump, jump around things. The... And then if you go back down the hole, game Ooh, starts restarts. over. Nice. There's something weird on the left-hand side that I did to fix. So <laughs> anyways, that is it in a nutshell. That is the demo of our game so far. I thought it was important just to kind of give everyone a little like yeah. rundown of what we had created. All of those elements make a game, right? Right. Yeah, totally. I, I feel like now it's, it's like, that's, that's what I feel like that's part of what we have to do is always be like, you sort of, increase what the game platform can do and then you go okay the, now what is the the story that can kind of or the actions or the challenges that you're going to put in the game that can kind of match what the what the platform can do and so i feel like this is a great like starting block for all of that stuff hells yeah and so what i wanted to show you and we're going to just show you this um and this is kind of the um the, the cool new thing that's coming up and you I don't think you've seen this so no. let, me, let me pause this because I'm gonna we're gonna do this as like a debut not necessarily of our game but Game Boy Studio and I'm gonna go cut over to it right now is um made by this guy named uh, Chris Matby hey thanks for hanging out with us disturbed totally it's disturbed. been fun tonight see ya. um one of the things that that he has been doing he's the guy that built this platform this yeah. this Chris guy and so what he just released on on Twitter or X or whatever the hell they call it nowadays, just a few days ago, this is what he released. And I don't know if there's there's actual sound on it. What's with all the space? He's talking about pushing it to the limits. So if you put it in color only mode, it expands what we can do in the game. We could do a bunch more stuff, add a whole crap load more actors, and it doesn't gonna isn't gonna slow the game down as much. Mm. So he basically is announcing he's making a game with a whole crap load more ability for us to put more into it without having as many constraints as we've had. Actors only or all kinds of stuff. He's just alluding to it right now that there's gonna be a lot of crazy stuff coming out. And he just shows like this scene with a whole bunch of things that are making right, me think like true. there is something coming out that is going to be awesome to oh, allow us man. to do more in this game. So if there is a that time would be frame, that would be amazing because the thing that I built was way too complicated for this game. <laughs> so we, I don't know what that's going to mean, but I just want to announce it that he had said that that is where we're headed. Nice. So, and this is so, I mean, because obviously you could take any platform and make a Game Boy looking game, but he's saying that you could do it and have it still run on a normal Game Boy game. Game Boy Color, Game Boy only. Color, sure. So Game Boy Color has a little bit more processing and abilities to do yeah. some stuff. So it's going to be awesome to be able to have that as part of the game. Yeah. Now that you saw the demo, if you if you're cool with it, Ryan, I'm going to go into like what I've been working on sure. for a little bit and then yeah. maybe we jump into story a little. Totally. Um because I think you need to understand what I've been working on and then I want to show what you've been working on because sure. I think you had a Ryan is amazing. Like I go in, I do all the back behind the scenes like how do we code the hell out of this? <laughs> and I'm going to really talk about a very complex like thing I did. And uh, hopefully this makes sense, Ryan. Yeah. But it, it should expand the way that you think about things. Cool. And I'm hopefully you can like follow what the yeah. hell I did. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into our interface, like a little peek behind the scenes of what's nice. going on in Game Boy Studio. So when you're making a game, or at least in Game Boy Studio, all of these are the different scenes. And we've kind of talked about this before. And you'll notice there's a little bit more color in there because yeah. I've been practicing with some color. Oh, what is that? Oh, man. We're, we're going to talk uh, about that dang. in just a second over there. But what I wanted to home in on is something that I had been working on. We're going to play a demo of this in a second. And this is going to look really weird. And, I, and I'll explain it in a second. 
So what do you see there, Ryan? A bunch of blocks with like every number available or something like that. Like a bunch of uh, different numbers all crammed together. So you're right. So if you start in the upper left-hand corner and you imagine that each one of these is an eight by pixel, eight by eight pixel block Mm -hmm. that starts with what? Zero, zero. Oh, right. Zero, zero, one or zero, one, zero, two. Okay. All the way down to 99. And I, I handmade all of those numbers and I put those in there in a thing. And I'm just going to click on one of these boxes, which is a 16 by 16. So there's four of these numbers. And when you click on it, over on this right hand side is the coding that I put in on just that box. Every one of these boxes have a uh, amount of coding to be able to do stuff with it. Okay. Now I'm going to show you where this comes into play in just a second. So I'm going to hit this play button. We've talked about the interface. If you don't know what this interface is, go check out one of the other videos. There's a lot out there. I've been actually thinking about doing a little bit of a GB studio series where I yeah. like put it down to really simple kind of terms and we'll make a little uh, demo of it. But what's happening right now is I'm compiling the game. So it's taking everything that we've done so far with all these little levels that are in the game and it's like cramming it into a file and it's it's making a game. So we've made the game over here and you can see it kind of loading. So here's our demo. Right. So we just played through the demo. I'm not gonna go try to beat it the same way, but I wanted to show you some enhancements I made. So first of all, You notice the colors are different. You got some red bricks in there. Roby has this purple shirt and purple shoes on there, which is looking kind of cool. You have some lights. Here's a difference that I did is is before you can jump in lights, but now you kind of jump behind the lights. So it has like just some interesting new ways to do it. Little ghosty going behind the lights. I like the darker kind of background. We have to figure out how that's all going to work. All right, here here it is. One here's what first thing that I did is if I click select oh what? who has the cricket bat nice. little roby does oh, heck yeah Sweet. so let's go in so this is where i need you to help me because <laughs> sure. that does not look great and i just wanted to make sure i could get the action but roby he can go beat a ghost nice. he's a ghost beater in this heck yeah buddy come on let's go let's go ghosty <laughs> hey come here let get me beat here. you let me beat you <laughs> ah ah Oh no, hey, beat a ghost him. down. Nice. So what I made was, is not that only that, but he can then switch over to gun. Oh, and he has a little plasma sweet. blaster now. Boom, boom, boom. Amazing. So he has in the ability. How does he switch? Isn't there only two buttons? I have I have multiple buttons. I made the select button a switch oh, button so you can okay. select that. Nice, I love so, that. So so that's one of the enhancements. And I'll, I'll but here's the other thing. I was like, okay, that's cool. We, and so it has all the main normal stuff that you can do in here. Sure. I only made this for this other room because I've been testing. So now I'm in this room. Now I'm going to bring up a new oh, menu. Oh, man. So, Sweet. So we can start to select. Oh, God. Maybe I uh, hope hopefully this version <laughs> actually has the things that I. OK, it froze up on me. Uh, um, let me let me let me run it. Let me rerun run it. it. So one of the things is I've been working on a menu mm-hmm. and. Actually, as of as of this morning, I was still working on this menu. Nice. Um, so if this borks on us, that's fine because it's still there and we can use it from this back end. And you can kind of see it up here. But what I wanted to do was like figure out, and this is where I need your help of like what could be in a menu and how can we make this this work. So um, I'm really hoping it didn't bork because I had been doing a lot of like little like coding things and I probably broke something. Um, when I was doing that this morning, but we'll see if I can get it to work. Cause what I was trying to do is like, how do you just make it to where you're not switching the guns like here, but maybe in a menu. Oh, so right. if I go here and I'm going to, first of all, I'm just going to go to the map. So I was like, here we go. We could oh, have a little right. map and this is just a graphic, but there's ways that I figured out that you could actually plot where you're at hmm. in a map. So imagine a bunch of rooms. Okay. And then depending on what room you are, there would be a variable that ticks off that just says, hey, anytime this scene enters, you're in this room. And if you go to the map, it would just like have a little character showing in that room. So I have the map figured out how we can get into a map. And then I have the weapons thing. Oh, God, it's not going to work. Damn it. All right. There's a way I'm going to have to show you um, the collectibles because this is this is something and maybe I could uh, quickly take a quick peek at it just to show you what I'm doing. So over here, 
there's a ridiculous amount of of things that I'm like having kick off and like inventories that go and other things that are set up. And I, I'm not going to get too crazy into like how this all works, uh, on the show, but basically I'm running some, some code to be able to say in this scenario, go to this next, like this next little screen. And so here's, here's the one I have to figure out what I was, I messed up. So a and B, if I hit a once, uh, go player position. So what this is doing is it like you're skipping your character between these boxes. Oh, that that's like the the character is the selector. Yeah, the like. character is the selector, and then when it when it hovers over a box, which is a trigger, it's like run this new set ah, of code. Okay. It's a little complex. It's sure. A little, well, it's, it's like it, it's like the the back sideways way of of doing something like this right but it's like that's how they did it in normal game boy games wasn't it i think they have some versions of this mm. and you would code it out and so i'm nerding out a little bit on this so i took one one thing off um oh it's probably not the b one i should have probably taken the a off hold on just a second all right i'm gonna do it a different yeah, way. yeah don't mess it up just for because we're on stream oh this is a this is a version this is a copy of it so what i'm okay. gonna do and this is in this is a little like a little ridiculous of what i had to do but let me see if i can move this character over here so this is like a play a play button right that's and where you this start is, this is where your character starts and so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put it in this scene but for this to work and we can make this all messed up is i had to meticulously go through the game and set like these variables like <laughs> manually oh man and and basically it's like Watch what happens when I play this. I'll just show you. It'll be a little easier to understand. So you see numbers in there now. Yeah. And it's it's building the game at this moment. Oh. All of those one or zero zero through ninety nine, that it, it's what's called tile swapping. So what I'm basically doing is I'm if you see over on this uh, right hand side, there's all of these these like things that are like cut in half. What I'm basically doing is saying, I want this tile, this one eight by eight, to replace this one eight by eight over here. Hmm. And, and and so here is an example of what that menu might look like. So now we can create this massive menu of a oh. whole bunch of selectables oh. that you might want in that in that it's area. It's like we're building like an adventure game. Basically. Yeah, and, and so it's gonna like bork. A point and click. It's it's gonna kernel. Oh, no. It's <laughs> only because I started right on that menu and I've done uh, this sure, a couple yeah. times. But what when I get the old version that I actually have that works, what it can do is, we were limited to having five to ten actors on a screen, mm -hmm. meaning that like the little ghost that floats around, the, these little things. Like, let me just show you an example: our HUD, the hearts, one actor. Yeah the count of how many enemies two actors the like pickup of the page there's three actors the ghost is four actors the other little vial is five actors we're almost to the complete amount of right. actors you can have like up to 10 and it gets really laggy even when you go beyond like mm. five seven of them we can now have 30 different kind of interactables wow. in a scene and it takes literally almost no hit nice to the different things so so like and those 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 characters are are people uh, enemies, right? Or anything that you interact with? Is it anything that you interact? with? I would with? say interactive. Like we need to keep the actors as just our AI enemies, but the key that I collected and and some of those things are are actually are um this this tile swapping, and so I feel like I need to like show that off. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna pivot to your work because I wanted to show you this a little bit off. Yeah, this doesn't make a lot of sense right now. But other like, than well, I so so get bring it bring it back down to reality for me at least yeah, in yeah. the sense of like how do you picture us using this in the okay? In the game? That's a great question. See this little number code right up in here. Yeah, this is the key. So before it was an actor, right? But now that is a key, it, it becomes this little like orange box, which is a trigger. In triggers, you can have 30 of those right. in the thing. So the difference is instead of me having to create this actor and drop it onto the thing, lag out the game, I basically, it's a part of the background. So yeah. you build the background when you're in a sprite, you literally 
put this into a sprite as pixels in the background yeah and then i come into this game and i'm like hey at this part when somebody steps on this little trigger you know or just flip this to like this cool other little pixel image that's over here and it gives us this ability like when you touch it you see the key then when you touch it it turns the pixels into no pixels well and it feels like if we're making a type of adventure game, which it sort of feels like we are, like you're going to need way, like having a bunch of triggers is going to be important, right? Because you want to like talk to people and pick up things and look at stuff and, and trigger dialogue and all of that kind of stuff. Um, so more of that is better, especially if it's not lagging shit out. A hundred percent. Like <laughs> I think you, like that's the reality is yeah. that essentially what all that crap does is is it puts a bunch of stuff in a much more efficient and effective way cool. so that we can put like 30 items yeah. in a you like you have to go collect this and then you have to come back and collect this and there's a and story port here do or, i need to care about any of that or i just make i just make you know 16 by 16 pixel stuff then you're like yep great i'll throw it into this grid and then i'll just add it to I, it by these numbers i do whatever. all the weird complica- yeah, 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 i don't great, ever want to talk great. about again like that again on the stream me neither so to speak <laughs> <laughs> but what i wanted you to know is that no. like it's a lot of work yeah, yeah and so if we can like nail down what we're well, trying to do because even even talking about my part next is like we made a thing that was too i made it a thing that was too complicated you know and, and so Obviously, we want to make things more complex and more whatever to make it a fun and interesting and interactive game. And so the idea that we can have more triggers and more stuff like that, like I appreciate the, the all the hard work that went into that. <laughs> well, and it's, it's, it's the nerdy behind the scenes and nobody. Uh, yeah, it's a JSON file. And so you could automate. Uh, so i agree with you on that and there and there's something that we'll have to like you'll have to help me with that because maybe you know a little bit better uh mike mike Azul, because i did go down a rabbit hole with this i'm downloading a version of the game just right now because i wanted to show ryan like it working in the world right. let me see if i can let me see if this actually works if you don't mind sure because i think that would be more fun to to show that all right, not today, Winrar. Not today. Maybe soon. Maybe soon. Maybe sometime. <laughs> I'm actually. There's been some days, and I'm like, hey, i actually might want to pay for Win- Winrar today. Ah, uh, maybe but not. It doesn't happen. It, ne- it never materializes. Okay, so I just downloaded another version of the game. I don't think it has the weapon swap, or if it does, what I was trying to do was like integrate the weapon swap into the inventory menu, mm. and that's why. You're seeing tough. it a little bit different because I, I totally borked and broke something sure. there. And it's going to take me like a little bit of time to to look at that. So it's going to take a minute. But the idea of like switching back and forth between melee and weapon, even even just that is like, I mean, you know, we knew that we were going to need something like that for the game. So hell yeah. Should I download this one? This yeah. One? Download that one and bring it into a sprite if you can. Yeah, absolutely. And then I would download the chat GPT one that I put in there too. Yeah, that one was a cool one. And then also it would be nice to bring up that website that I put into the Sprite uh, right. Discord channel for our game. I will do that. I'm gonna, let me see if this version has it just so you can kind of see what it's, what's going on. So if I hit select, okay, nice. this one has this. I don't remember if this one had the actually, so this one didn't have the beadiness to it yet. So I'll have to, I'll have to figure that out later. Didn't have the what? beating like you oh, can't beating you, this be, i see you can like you have that little swap i did that in the other version of it okay so this one should work okay it does so if you go in here like you can go through and you can select all these and things select them by do like to do what to like so use? let's say you anything whatever like, we want so so let's say i selected something and then it would tell me the description of it like could i de- imagine you could do like you would want that like puzzle pieces so you would know like descriptions or like and we could make this look like whatever we want we can make it like a cool skull that like has sure. different sections it doesn't like a have bag to... like you're laying out your pack of what you can look at all the stuff you've collected it, I, this is where it's fun for us and so i made the little cool selector so it's some of these are just like I was t- doing tile swap. This is that number screen. Yeah. So when you think about what we're seeing here and I'll just not completely get out of it. This is this screen yeah. 
But my the coding behind the scenes is what's swapping this out. Right. And so I think that here here I'll just give you an example of what the code looks like just so you can get a little bit ridiculous. So this is uh yeah, this is it. <laughs> nice. That's that's what swaps every one of those tiles. And so um I I mean obviously you can copy and paste some of it, but I had to like manually go in and find every coordinate to say, hey, at this exact moment you need to like if you if you highlight one of these squares in the bottom left and you can't see it, it's under our here, I'll just turn off our pop up. In the very bottom left it says demo collectibles menu X three and six. Y six? Yeah, yep. Y six. So then I go over here and I'm like, replace this tile, this particular one, mm. from this other screen that's over here. Right. And it's in this location slot. And there's a reason. Like, this is zero, one, two, three, four, five, all the way through till whatever I get to the end. Yeah. And I'm like, go over here and swap this tile with this tile. Okay. And so then I'm like, this one goes to here. This one goes to here. And essentially what you can do is you can start swapping tiles in the background like dynamically. Yeah. And and so what that ends up being like, and I'll just use it right now. And so then when you're looking at it in GB Studio, it, it on the screen it looks like a key. Yeah. Right. So, but in but in the admin side, the builder side, it looks like numbers. It does. And so if I if I was able to nail this down, right, and I'll do it a couple of times and oh there's there's a trick to I can't I'm gonna say it, it's like uh, I I cannot do the the grenade jump very well. I I will sit there and try it 500 times before I get it one time. <laughs> it, it's like one two and then you have to hit it and then three. So maybe we tweak that, and make it a little bit more fun. It would have to be easier to do. I feel like right. there has 100%. to be a bigger window <laughs> to nailing it. So I grab the key, so and now you have the key. Now I have the key, the key of entry. Nice. So that was my example. Like if you if you yeah. do it before and what I, I'd have to restart the thing is that if you clicked on that question, it's like it's by a barrel. So it gives mm, you a hint. Right. But then that way you can be like, okay, I know there's like yeah. 25 things I need to go find. Right. And you can hint it and then you go find it. But then yeah. And Anyways. those are and those are all parts like now that you have that key and that is in your inventory, you can go in through the door. And you right? can use it through the door. Th it doesn't disappear though, right? It's like nope. you're just sort of like, hey, here's the twenty five things that you can collect and like yep. here's the descriptions of them and yeah. That's like I feel like that opens up a lot more. It feels like you can make a real full like because before it was like, oh, you could collect these four things. You're like, that's great for these two two frames that we're building, two yeah, yeah. scenes. But you're like, if you're going to build a whole game with three different levels and all of this stuff, like, when does it reset? Does it reset never? Is that just sort of like your entire, like, or does it like... We could have hundreds of those things. Right. We could have a hundred. It's just, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Cool. It, so let's look at your your world. So, so what I was doing is I was like, well, we're, we're going to build this prototype, right? Which is probably going to have a couple rooms in it. And I was like, man, I really want to build out the, the, um, when you go to it, the, the G yeah, sure. So I wanted, I really wanted to build out what the, what the tavern would look like. Right. And I'm still keeping it in the, you know, Game Boy colors and everything like that. And so this just has, you know, same thing that Adam has seen before, right? Like, or that we were playing in the last one, but just like slightly, you know, like, oh, you know, now, now it has some like drinks sitting on stuff and there's some bottles up here and there's the light above this that, you know, cause I knew that Adam was filling it out so that we could jump on things. Right. So I was like, okay, well, like maybe you could jump here and then onto here. Right. And then onto this guy and then onto the top of this. And so there's just like interesting sort of like spacing out of platform items that I was trying to do with this, but then also build things in a sense of, you know, this little light sconce, right? Same as this one, right? Same as this one. I was trying to do that thing of like reusing and keeping these unique tiles. And then part of it that I wanted to do was like, I thought it was interesting that some things could be in the foreground. So let's say Roby walked by here, like he would be behind these elements, right? So he would walk and it would look like they were in the front. And so I had some elements of that and I was trying to reuse things. 
And then I was like, we're going to need bar patrons here <laughs> at some point, right? Like people just sitting there doing something. And it was kind of neat because I am still using chat GPT to create some of these things. I was like, Hey, make me a tavern, make it from the front, like a gay boy thing and put patrons in front of it. And then I took which patron I thought was the most interesting, cropped them, brought them into a Sprite. I've sort of, I've sort of gone away from the middle, middle thing of bringing it into, um, the uh pixel uh, five pixel five like thank you uh, bringing it into pixel five i feel like it just it doesn't add that much to it because i'm gonna have to mess with it anyway and then i bring them in and then i mess with them to to bring it in uh so so yeah so i have our guy i changed the background uh this background a little bit because i was like it's kind of too busy with all of the bricks I like, like it's it's too like overwhelming for your eyes and especially when you put roby up there he's like in all this like chaotic background. And so I was like, I'll just make two or three eight by eight tiles of bricks and then I'll just flip them and rotate them and, and do that behind here. Um, it looks great. I love that. Nice. It's a great element. Yeah. I feel like it, it helps separate these two things and show that it's a different texture than this wall, but not, you know, be, be so uh, uh, complex. Okay. So I got this here. And then like got our little guy and then the tables are slightly different, right? Like this one has a bottle, this one, no bottle. Right. And so some of them can have just the bottle and no, and no beer, you know, because that's just sort of a couple eight by eights. And then I like the idea of kind of the, like, let's say this was the museum, right? What, what makes you think that this is the museum door? Like, why would you remember that this is the museum door versus this other damn door? Right. And what I didn't want to do is put like museum across <laughs> yeah. the top. Right. That's my, like, that was my stupid way. I was like, put the word museum over just the put top. The museum, then I'll put bathroom <laughs> next to this one. Then I'll put something else next to this oh, one. Right. God, Which funny. like, what is it? Didn't what I didn't want to do, <laughs> but I thought like, Hey, it'd be cool if there was like, Right. You're sort of entering the museum. So there's these museum, you know, things talking about the yeah. bar, talking about the beer that was made, like his little flag. Right. Like this is kind of the 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 little thing that so you remember. Oh, right. This is the door that leads into the museum without having to say that. And then the other thing was I was sort of building tables that you could put bottles on. So I have little eight by eight bottles. And then I like the idea of them just like being everywhere. Right. Like it's not. It's not a pristine bar. There's just people leaving crap everywhere and stuff like that. Ryan would be that guy. He just like put that. What? <laughs> it doesn't. The arcade cabinet doesn't have a, a a drink holder for me on the side. Then I put it on the top. F you. Okay. So then I have the same bar guy, but flipped. Right. So he's over here, just like chilling at the bar. And then I have like at you know like Adam built the little guy, and so I was like, I want to keep with that. Like just more like him maybe holding up the skull. Like you know you're. I love that. Pixels, I didn't even notice that. Detail. You know like That's oh great. like there's him and he's kind of holding up the skull, and so then you would probably click on this and yeah. read things about it and do things. And then, and then finally the little like isometric door that goes out the other side. Like it was like, we need things where like they're coming in and leaving the space. Right. So that, you know, like maybe the fade in is him walking or I don't know how complicated any of that stuff is. Or like if this was in the foreground, but this was in the background, he could walk in and it'd be blocked by this front half. Like maybe so it could look like he was actually walking. We're gonna go. Through. We're gonna try this in a little bit here. Yeah. So so anyway, so I had all all of that stuff, and then I also tried at one point to make this also because see you can see how the top sort of just stays flat Straight, with the plane, yeah. and then this one doesn't. And so I was like, oh, I'm gonna build this down, and it did not look cool. And then this uh this little in between, I was trying to look at like what uh what like celtic like filigree was you know that would sort of be the kind of thing in a like a you know so you know bar that was irish themed or something like that 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 would i would use like irish bars as kind of my my it's not really necessarily an irish bar but and then i had the little piece of like the uh uh torn paper like up Ooh, here I like it, it. you know I like didn't even notice like uh for for up here like up at the top and then what i thought would be really cool was we talked about doing some of that parallax scrolling and i was like what if this these windows were blank and then there was like cool rocky mountain you know mountains in the background and then as you walked forward 
and around, they would slide differently okay. than the thing, right? So you would get a little taste of there being sort of that background there with like, oh, it's like interesting. It's like moving, right? It sort of gives that parallax Ooh, that's scrolling a good idea. like outside of these windows. And I was like, hey, well, maybe we'll have enough pixels because I've been really trying to <laughs> not have a whole bunch of unique pixels. I've been trying to reuse these pixels, you know, in a way that like, you know, it said, about half of your pixels should be, or half of your tiles should be, you know, uh, unique and half of them should be reused. And I was like, I have way more reused tiles than I have unique tiles in here. Oh God, there's so many re reused ones, but I wasn't able to test it. And so I sent it to Adam like after this weekend and I was like, try this out. Let me, maybe if we have some extras, we could do this parallax scrolling in the background. And Adam writes me 10 seconds later and goes, it has like a hundred <laughs> more unique <laughs> tiles than we could ever possibly have in a, in a game boy game. And I went, God damn it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was like, First of all, just my reaction was like, holy crap, this looks amazing. <laughs> and then when I saw that, I was like, all right, I'm going to that down. Damn it. So uh, do, you, do you have the one that I that I got yeah, from? Uh, it's right here. Uh, I don't know. If, just open it with a sprite. It's on the I desktop. Can't, I can't drag it. I can. Okay. So Adam was like, there's like 300 unique, you know, pixels inside. No, it was, of, it was or, 292 or tiles, at, tiles and you can only have 192 unique ones. Yeah. So, so we were at 300. We'll just round yeah. numbers. We'll say we're at 300 unique tiles and we can only have 200. And I was like, damn, that's a third. That's a third I have to cut. And not only that, I don't even know which ones are necessarily like unique or not unique. It doesn't tell you that in tiled. It doesn't tell you that in a sprite from what I can tell. And so what I did was like, I bet ChatGPT can tell me what this is. So I threw the image into ChatGPT and I said, hey, there's unique eight by eight pixels like that equal a tile. Start from the bottom left and show me how many of these are unique. And it said, hey, there's 301 unique tiles in this baby. And I've outlined and highlighted them all, which I thought was pretty sweet. Um, I put this into GB Studio and somebody replied that they were like, oh, there's a website that does that too. And I was like, that makes sense. Um, and they, so that's, I can add that to the uh, Discord. But anyway, I thought this was pretty neat because what it shows is like some of the things that, I thought maybe might not count against our unique tile thing totally do. So taking a tile and flipping it or rotating it or doing things, it's just a unique tile like this. So well, I'm going to switch back to, to our real one. Like this barrel is this eight by eight. That is this corner is the same as this corner, which is the same as this corner, which is the same as this corner. They're just flipped, you know, you know and, and rotated downward. But in some ways, it may as well not even be like that, right? Like if I'm going to flip and rotate them, I may as well put a, you know, a different sort of, you know, edge to this one and some slightly different color on this corner and a slightly different color thing on this corner. Like I may as well because rotating and flipping those tiles just makes them unique anyway. So I think what we have to think about is, you know, these background elements of like these uh, brick tiles, right? I was like, like, look how many of them are unique because I was rotating them. I was flipping them. I was doing that. Like, so like one, two, three, four. Let's see. And then five because one goes behind because it's touching here. that edge. Yeah, that's right. Because it's going behind here. So this eight by eight is different now because mm -hmm. it has this little edge here and this little edge here. And then I think so like six i don't know if that was seven like seven different background unique tiles and you for thought this. it was what just and i thought it was three you know like our two i had built two like one going this way and one going that way and so they fit together but then i was like oh I'll just flip this one and rotate this one and do this one and so you end up with seven right so i think what i'm gonna have to do is like i think we could sort of get the same look if it was just like always this one that and this one thing. right and then i would just duplicate that over here and duplicate it on the top and then you would just have to not have any that so here that go behind anything. I, I agree with you. And this is one thing I wanted to talk to you about on the show tonight 
um, if we go into your your prior version, and I think we were oh, it's so ugly now. I can't even look. at I it. I know. <laughs> no, just kidding. It's beautiful <laughs> still. Um, if you zoom in, this was just some advice or like things that I need. We needed to figure out. So, first of all, everything you did on that. I I love this. I love the isometric parts. I love like all these other. Is it is that supposed to be blink right there? How did that happen? I don't know how that happened. Okay, well maybe we accidentally deleted something. But what I wanted to say was, when we start to think about coloring, this is an issue that I was having that I wanted to talk to you about. Yeah, is because this block and this block are two like right next to each other. So you want the like if. I know we're not going to go with this brick and you're going to like simplify, but if you had a brick next to this brick and I wanted like this thing to be like brown or black or whatever the hell we wanted to do, like because this tile like is half this and half the brick, like we have to make a decision. You only get one choice between those two color sets. And so there's some ways that we'd have to be really careful because that's why you have these weird edges in certain places where, and I'm trying to see if there, I mean, it's on this other side. There was a couple, uh, the, this, well, I think I did it because, um, I just made this thing red. So it was like, everything was red. Sure. But if you wanted this, this thing to have bricks behind it, notice how th- there's bricks behind this side, but the rest of it is the barrel. So I was going to say like the best you can like make this tile not have stuff in the background you're gonna you're gonna save a crap load of space well and so like because right now even if you highlight over that with your eight by eight like selector you can see that there's part of it that's like clear right that that is clear and allowing but it's not clear. to come in it right? looks as this is just one pixel there's no clear like there's nothing clear about that no but i know but like be, well, because it all it is is a JPEG or whatever in the background, yeah. right? Like it doesn't it doesn't know the difference between that being a background and that being a thing. And so right, when right. you put the color on top, it's just saying that light color, make that light color light red, yep. right? And make the dark color dark red. And it doesn't know any of the difference between those two. So in the sense, it should e- it either needs to fill up that entire eight by eight yes. square, yes. or like. Or just it can't be colored in that area, right? Like it can't be a background. In some ways, like creating even the new one that I did, you're like, it sucks because it looks it looks simplistic because you can't layer anything on top of each other, right? Right. Like everything has to be its own. Like here's the sconce and then here's the table that's next to that. And then here is the, the pool table, like uh pool hall stuff. And then this is next to that. Right. And so it's hard. It, it, it makes it, it just, it looks less cool. Right. When you, when you can't layer things on top of each other, but that's just, you know, Hey, it, it is what it is. Right. We're just going to have to, to, but it also, to me, to me, I, I kind of like the Game Boy green. Like, in some ways, I've been thinking about the colors. Yeah. And I was like, what if the colors were just like highlights of things? You know, like it's mostly like you're mostly in like what I don't want it to just be some like Technicolor Skittles, whatever. Like it, it should like I think if it would look cool and green like that, but then it just highlighted certain things that you should be like clicking on or selecting or doing things. And they were sort of subtle colors. Anyway, I, I have a theory of mind of how I want to do the colors, but like, but I get what you're saying in the sense that they almost need to fill up those entire tile sets for it to work. Uh, and that, and that's, that's okay. So here, I don't know. There's a big old black side on that. So this is where I found like, yeah, 301 where it's limited to this. What I think we could still shoot, we can't get anybody in this. Like if we could cut something out and make it like just unique enough, we could go in here and test some things. And this way it might you help. You could just you. cut off half like three the the everything past skull bobs, right? Like the 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 bar. You could just crop it, right? <laughs> okay. Let's, let's so so then like that entire board wouldn't be there or let me just try you, this you know. like we, let, we could probably do it with the board let me see if i can crop it this this way 
Okay. Is there a crop in here? <laughs> I don't know, actually. Uh, layer. I could have sworn there was a crop. Oh, do you have to like use a tool to crop it? Huh. And you could cut it out of there and paste it into a new one, I suppose. Yeah, we do it. Do it old school. Copy it. Yeah. Yep. Mike is old. They have a. I usually keep it on all the time. <laughs> so then sometimes I look at it. I'm like, this looks great. And then I look at it without the lines and I'm like, oh, it doesn't look as cool. All right. We're going to call this. Um, I'm gonna put this on. I'll just put in the background. We're going to just call it Sprite 01. It'll make it easier. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to put that into the game. So I got to load this into the assets folder in the back. And let's see if this shows up. Okay. It was Sprite 01. One of the things I've noticed is that I have to like reload the game mm. uh, to be able to get it to see backgrounds that I add into it. So what we're going to do is we cut off enough. So I'm hoping that was at least 100 tiles I don't know. That, that, we, uh, that we did there. Um, when you were talking about that, um, let me put this in first, then I'll show. That's not the one. Sprite O one. Why is it? Oh, it's at the top. Why would it be at the top? That's not alphabetical. Uh, Three forty five. What? More? How is that more? How could it be more? How would that possibly be more? <laughs> I'm really confused. I'm confuzzled right now. Okay, well, let's do this. What I want, let's see, we should still be able to do some stuff with it. Oh, man, because I don't want to do that. Because if we, why would that be more? I don't know why it would, I don't know how it could possibly be more. <laughs> it says background contains two, maybe we like you bought. Oh, did you, did you like not crop it at an eight by eight? So if you cropped it at seven, right, then each thing that we were making, like maybe it, uh, All right, we're going to go in here because we need to do this anyway. So the question from Mike Azul in the chat is, can you put a grid on this? And yes, you can. So one of the things you can do is... I you think go, you got to un, so uncrop it. I, it's, I'm just going to have to go to the other one. I'm just going to not save that one. Here's your version of it. I know what I can do. We're going to do it this way. We're going to go file and new. So eight... What was it? 800? Like, what's a multiple? I guess 800 would be fine. Yeah. Not 8,800 8, would be so many. It'd be great. You know what I was thinking we need is one that's like up and down. Well, yeah, we should definitely talk about that. Okay. So we'll and we should make sure we have time because it's already 10, 10. Yeah, we've we got to play Jackbox. We got to talk about our whole thing. Well, we're going to just play Jackbox. I don't know if we're going to have time for anything else. I know we were going to start to map it out, but that might have to be next episode. Well, I think we should get I think we should go in and talk about it a little bit so that we can do it in between. Uh, uh, like. OK, let's do that. We're going to have to do that soon. So if you go to the select or the, what was it? The view grid, grid settings, and then you I always can, have to change it to eight by eight. So one of the things, if you don't want to change it to eight by eight is if you go to uh, file and preferences, you can click over to grid over here and then it shows visible grid. So you hit eight by eight and then you're like, oh yeah, that works. And then you come back in, it doesn't work. But what you have to do is hit this drop down and say grid for new documents. Mm. And then you can also apply it there. And so every time you open it up and it's eight by eight grid. See, it's see it's off. That's why. I see. Okay. Because then these are not gridded. So, oh, okay, that's that makes yeah, sense. That right. completely makes so sense. So then it starts with the bottom left corner and they're all <laughs> they're all unique. Yeah, they are. All right. So we need to I don't think you, you all right, let's let's make sure. So if we There's right. like hair cuts off a tiny bit. There we go. No. This way? No, like like just line up an arcade cabinet or something. It's that'll be easier. Is that right? And then we just gotta take him out, right? Yeah, that looks it. Yeah. Everything I think that's it. Yeah, that's right in the middle. Okay. 
The door isn't cool though. Wait, hold on a second. I want that door because that door is going to be like good. So we'll do the cabinet right there. Once over. Oh wait, no. Yeah. Ah, oh, shoot. We can't because it like has that little like this little area here that's off. Shit. See how it's um. And you got to go down one. Yeah. I don't know why that it's missing something off on that, that that left hand side. Okay, we're gonna have to go this way. Sorry, sorry, door. You're not gonna be able to be there. And then we got to take him and get him out of the scene, right? Yeah, that's true. So we should be able to do that pretty quick, right? Just like grab this and pull it that way. Sure. Ish. Now we have some extra floor you know, stuff. Whatever. But yeah, whatever. Okay, let's see if this works. So we are going to export this baby. To, we'll just do it over the same one on the desktop. That way it just loads. Or shoot, I guess we didn't even have that one. Sprite 2. All right, we're going to Sprite 2. Sprite 2. Actually, I want to test something. Because you just dragged and dropped something in here. Can I just drag and drop this in here? Oh, my God, you can. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's, that's game changer right there. All right, we're going to add a new scene. And it should be not that one. That's the first one. Sprite 2. Oh, 231. Oh, my God. Getting so close. So close, baby. Oh, you were right. We should have probably <laughs> cut that out. But you know what? It's easier now because look at this. All we have to do is crop it down by the pixels. Probably. Or you could just go canvas size, right, and reduce it. You want to do this? You're you're the no. you're you're the artist here. No. All right. Layer. Canvas size, and it shows you too, right? Yep. How much we're gonna do it? So what are we gonna reduce it? So in multiples of eight. So like make it sixty-four. No, a uh, six. Twenty-four less. So. Seven seventy-six. I don't know about that. That's that's wrong, right? Seven seventy? No, we're we're bad at math, apparently. What, what's uh, what's the eight hundred minus twenty four? Why are you doing twenty four? Because eight sixty and twenty four, right? Like if you want three tiles of eight gone, which is what this would be to remove that. Let's do seven. Because you got to make sure you get it right on the right on the nut of something eight <laughs> multiple of eight. How come I'm not? Oh shit! I hit the wrong button. There you go. Seven fifty-two. Okay. It cuts. Out. Oh, it, it keeps this little guy. You know what I'm gonna do? It'll do this. I'm gonna erase that. Go like that. Okay. So the question is, um, can you have a long bar with transitions? You absolutely can. You could use multiple scenes and triggers to go between those two areas. So if we truncated this. Mike is always right on the money, Ryan. Do you see what he's saying? So, like, if you took this whole scene with every pixel that you had, and let's say we cut it, like, right here into two scenes and put a trigger on it, so when you hit the trigger, it would just load the other part of the scene. We can make it, like, this humongously long bar. Is that, is that, um... Uh... Is that what what does that transition look like in the game? Does it like fade to black and then fade back in from black? Yeah, we'd have to probably do some fades or something, but Alright, let's see if we can get this. I totally overwrote that one. Say SB two or Sprite two? Yeah, I did. I'm just gonna go in the game world. Yeah, see, and you know, like Mike, you, I, I agree. Like the tavern, like part, this section of the level is probably the biggest one that we would have, right? Or one of the largest ones. A lot of the other rooms, I feel like, are going to be a lot smaller and just incorporate some of these sprites into it. So, two oh five, damn it! <laughs> This is the problem we've been dealing with all along. So, like, what we really need to do is 
is reduce, like take out the window, do something. So this is the problem we keep dealing with. Yeah. But what I wanted to do, Ryan, is just to kind of show you like how this is probably really important. So I'm just going to do it this way. We're not going to be able to run in front of it. So let's say you wanted this in the foreground yeah, and you wanted your person to run in front of it. You would go over to this, this little, this paint thing. And I wonder if it's going to allow me to even do it. Cause it might be too many pixels. looks like it just bork. It's thing. just like uh, <laughs> crashed. <laughs> it did crash it. So we're going to just, we're going to do it one more uh, amount down. So if we do eight, Let's just take it down to you know what? There's two hundred and five. And how many do how many pixels do we need to remove out of it that are unique? I'm taking uh, out I'm taking out the window. Sure. The window's going out. And this little part right there. Is that sure. the only window? Yeah, get that one too. And then that should get us there. So it's a little blank. I'll export as yes. Okay. That should have been at least one, two, three, four, five, four. Yeah, that should be enough. All right. We gotta save some time to talk about the how we're gonna pull this uh this prototype together. Yeah, we do. Let's do that next quickly because we have we have the other board we have to play jackbox tonight i'm just yeah. telling you we are playing jackbox <laughs> we've said this and we cannot skip jackbox yeah like people are counting on playing jackbox that's all they've been c caring about are you gotta be kidding me 197 oh or five, five. What, what kind of complex crap did you, you i create don't here? i feel like i don't <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, I feel like I was duplicating a lot of things, but so apparently one, not. Two, one, two, three, four, five, six. So if we take out the jukebox, which is the sweetest. I know. It's like, we're going to come back next time and be like, here's the bar. And it's going to be like two things in it. Well, and this is what I guess I'm getting at. Like, just even this. And, and we're going to we're gonna show some foreground stuff in just a second. Um, the border around the mark. There's a border? Yeah, I mean, I think by taking out the jukebox, we're we're in a good space. And like the double chairs, how many double chairs did you put in there? Maybe just for the hell of it, um, we're gonna take this out as well. We're gonna just extend this for now. All right, that's got to be it. That's got to be it. You know what I like about this is it shows that this is the crap that we're actually dealing with behind the yeah. scenes. So you're getting to see the reality of uh, what it <laughs> the frustrations that you get when you do something like this. Oh, man. Okay. That's everything out of it. Hooray! We're there! Yay! Okay. Here's what I wanted to show you, and let's see. Let's let's hope this doesn't bork when we do it. So if I come over here and I click this, which God damn it, it's, it's apparently <laughs> does not it's still, like it, even then, even with the correct amount of tiles. I know GBC is being a little wonky tonight, but what I what what I was gonna try to do is put this back on. So we're just gonna reopen that up, and we're gonna talk about it. Um, and I'm gonna throw in a guy. We're going to throw Roby in there. Because you want, like, the foreground element? Is that what you're trying to... I was just trying to show yeah, the yeah. foreground, but it's, for whatever reason, it's being really stupid. So I'm going to put a little Roby in there. Let's just play the game in the world. Is he just going to, like, fall through the background? No, he'll he'll, he'll be at the very, very okay. bottom of this. He should be at the bottom. But what I was trying to show is that you come over here, and there's this colorize ability to, like, paint on here. Yeah. And what the challenge is is that you have this, like, line that comes all the way up to it. And so if you wanted this, this thing to be in the foreground, it would actually make all all of this block around yeah. it, the foreground, right? Like you can't like everything that is interactable has to be in an eight by eight square, right? Well, so. it, it kind of, but this white, you would be able to see behind it. Oh, how is he even standing there? Oh, <laughs> it's uh, it's not in the right mode. It's in a uh, top down 2d mode. So we need to go to platformer mode. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna test it one more time. Let's see if this if this dies this time. We're just gonna we're gonna call it and we're gonna go to something else. Okay, 
So here is, it was because it was in platformer mode. That's why. Yeah. Uh, see, un undo some of those. Like these couple yeah, here. Yeah. And that one. That little and piece. And then the other side and that one. Yeah. That one there. Okay. So this is, I th this is probably the effect you've been wanting to see, right? Like, what would it look like with a four? Like, I wanted to do like giant like pillars. Like, you could like, totally do you know, that. With like with with these same sconces, like but up close. So you'd be like, oh, that's what they look like up close because I'm seeing that as the camera. And then it would be like parallax scrolling them, so they would move faster. And then I was like, oh wait, we're out of pixels, and I have to cut a third of them. I, instead. I, I'm, not, I'm really glad we nailed this because it's gonna do the thing. Like, whoa, he's going yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> right? see, but see, see that yeah. little like line right there, and right. then you can see him through the thing. So you'd have to use the greens and not the white. So you can see I don't his. see I don't understand it's like why is that the white and like how come I can't because white is what's transparent it doesn't like it doesn't say that why does it it doesn't say that anywhere like in any of the stuff it just says like hey your backgrounds here's the colors that you can use yeah well I mean this it sucks is, this is a no, it make, <laughs> I mean I knew this for a while and so I guess I'm just trying to like make sure you see it right here is that this green and this green are the same. So you'd have to make this like floor all white and then these little elements that way. And then when he's running around through it, I mean, you get the effect almost like you really do. Yeah. It's just so close. You just need to make some quick tweaks on it. And that like actually brings the dimensions of the game together. And so basically you would have to. Yeah. Like see, so that part, right? Yeah. There just couldn't, you couldn't have the lines in, but the I could floor. make it all. But I could make it white in the background. But Hell then the yeah. floor would have to be white because it would show as white. Right, right. But the white from the background, he would be on top of. Because look at this cup. You see him through the white of the cup. The white is the transparency. So mm. whatever you want in the foreground, and if you wanted to have that big curve of the table, you just have to make basically all of that white. That's around this this area. But right like here. but the background would then have to be white. You can't on a per tile basis, but here's this is where I think the, the coloring comes into play because the coloring is amazing. So if I go and I turn off this, I'm gonna go into color mode. So if I wanted this table to be red, it's the same thing. So see how I'm like coloring the table? And that's and that's what I'm trying to get to like to your perspective is that if you can think about the coloring is going to be based off the tile. And so when I created this red, here are those same exact four colors that Game Boy has. And it, and instead of it being, and I'll just, let me go to the palettes. It'll make a little bit more sense. So it gives you four colors and in normal Game Boy. And I don't even know if that's normal Game Boy. I don't, I don't think it is. Here's, here's simple Game Boy. Here are like the, the, the Game Boy colors, mm -hmm. light, little lighter green all the way to darker. And you're basically just creating those same four color palettes. And you're like, this is a brush. You're still going to have your lightest one. And here's your other couple other ones. I'm thinking you make the lightest one, the same color on every single one of the palettes. And that's the background color that could be. And that's, the, and, but that would always have to be, but it would be different for every because you wouldn't want just white in the background of every single background, right? Like because that's the reason that I can make the floor look different than mm -hmm. the wall and different than the above wall. I think Ryan needs to start playing in more in GB Studio. It, it's I just need, like the, I'm gonna it almost it almost makes me then go like like how much how much are you sacrificing to 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 make those like things to be like oh i can run in front of something like maybe the thing that he has to run in front of is eight by eight squares oh totally right? but it's also the coloring like i think what we've learned to tonight if we could to transition because we're at 1026 yeah is that you and i in our next like planning session outside of the stream is let, let's get like a lesser of a demo together where I could like go into the palette colors because I think this palette color is going to change the game itself because you can use like all of these different colors in here and you can change things. And I just don't think I've been doing it right. And I think your perspective, once you understand that you're going to be like, okay, I get it a little different now um, because what we could do is this little red. That's a green. 
Let me go. Let me go to the side a little bit more. Okay. This green and this green are also this green and this green. And you're seeing that. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's just being like, Hey, those greens are always going to be in the foreground. They're always, if you put this little thing and you put it over those tiles, they'll always be in the foreground. So the only way to make this is these lines will, and, and this other green cannot be here. You're going to have to, and we already kind of talked about that, 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 that this part is going to have to be white. Well, and so, so it makes, so here's what it makes me think is like in a practical sense, like because this floor, this would have to be white, mm -hmm. right? And then it just wouldn't show. Right. Because then you would also have this white as the background over here because it would, it, it is going to show, but it's just, he's not going to go through it. So, so these lines could come up and then they would just stop yes. before they get yes. here. Right. But then this back wall would maybe have to be this darker green because he's not going to go in front of anything on the back wall close, but here's the deal. Here's how you can like, how you can trick that is if you used the color palettes. So in in the color palettes, and I don't know if I can explain this right. Let's say this this position is the one that's always invisible. No matter what this color is, when we put that little thing on, that's the one that's invisible. If you're creative enough, you can make one palette where, okay, there's the invisible color. And then you make another palette where maybe that invisible color is actually in the second position. And so when you paint it on, it would actually look like they're all the, exactly the same when they mm. when they match up. But one of them would be using the other one, you know, the right color. I don't know if that makes Man. sense, but it, it would feel like very complicated to figure out. And like I, maybe it's because I spent <laughs> way too many damn hours in the game, but it's clicked in my head how you might be able to do it after you start playing with it enough. And so I that's where I'm getting at. It's like if what if we got this world in like a simpler form we can just start playing with the color palettes playing with some of these like simpler like tile swaps almost on like one level mm. tune your like your design sensibilities into like okay how can i use the colors and these like foreground background pieces a little bit more yeah yeah i i might have to like i would want to see it in like a little 32 by 32 pixel like background right and be or or like a, a 144 by 144 background and roby just runs around in front of and back of things and he's and he's in the background how we want it right like the table is in front and the table is in back and like how, how does that work Okay. I think totally. All right. We're going to spend about 10 or more yeah. minutes on this. And this is just could be, this could just be an intro, right? So we talked about this last time. Adam put together this amazing, like, here's what maybe the tavern section or the bar section of this, which would be the tavern, of course, but also lobby and back of balcony and attic and museum and lounge and all the parts that would make up the cool Skull Bob's Tavern in general. And so we've been kind of working on this tavern part, but I thought like once, once we, once we actually did the, uh, uh, prototype, like maybe it's just the lobby, the tavern, the museum, you know, like it's just those three levels or it's that and the high storage or something. And so my idea was like, oh, then we would, so maybe this is in between after, you know, after the show and just in the incoming weeks but we could just go in here and oh where's all my stuff i feel like this looks so different than my version of mural that i have but oh done drawing there it is and then like we could just put in sticky notes and be like right you would start here <laughs> You know, you'd be like, great, this is where, this is where Roby's going to start. Right. And then we'd be like, okay. And then that's going to trigger a cut scene that happens here. Right. You know, we need like, this. like, uh, and then, and then, you know, in this lobby, there's going to be like this interactive point that's up here on a picture. Right. And this thing, and there's only one entrance and everything else is closed off and you have to grab something up here to be able to even get into the tech. Like, I feel like that's where we need to just start like adding all of these things. You're, you're a hundred percent on. And, and this is, this is what Ryan and I were like, in sync on this one because i think you color code it like you said yeah this is a starting point 
these could be triggers and so you're basically just like creating the game outside of uh yeah. Instead of like spending all the time like coding things and like oh that right. doesn't work like let's map it out into like a, a at least the outline right of like here's what the player is gonna do here's the interactive things they're gonna see here's the ability they're gonna get at this point when they've triggered this and I was yeah, and I was thinking like you could say you know number number one thing you have to to right. create so you like you hit the the trigger there and if you hit that trigger. Like it unlocks, I don't know. You could probably like do the the like a color coding or something. Oh, I don't know how you change the color of it. Oh, you click it, and there's the color there. And it opens the uh, the door. So then, like you can tie and, and and then go see this one connects with that one, right? Like, yeah, we need yeah. To be like this this one connects with this thing, and that's what it leads to this, right? And then. This trigger opens up this area, you know, and I feel like if we can go through and do some of that now, one thing that I did and, you know, we don't have enough time to, to mess with that. But what I did do is I put over here, like, here's the story that we kind of want to tell in the tavern, right? Here's the tavern abilities. I took out the high jump because I feel like we sort of we we almost said, like, it's going to be dash and maybe I think maybe gun just because maybe not in the actual tavern, but for this prototype, maybe we need to have gun in there and enemy. Um, and then the attributes are that like, it needs at least one cutscene. It needs an NPC interaction. It needs in a puzzle and explore and find, and it needs a platforming section. Like what does is platforming fun in it to jump around and grab things and get things that are like hard to reach, like make sure that that is fun. We need to nail in that because I think that's going to be the challenge of this is like, if you don't make the core running around right. and doing things fun, it's not going to be it's And like, let's not move on to the rest of it. Okay. So I had chat GPT gives, give suggestions for game activities. Oh gosh. And so what I did was, is I wrote out, I was like, I, it's not in here. But the, but the prompt was like, here's our game. Here's the first level that we want to do. Here's the attributes that Roby can do. Here's the things that he can't do. And here's the storyline at this point. And so it was kind of neat. It was like, hey, you know, maybe he could go up to the stranger, right? Because he's just a stranger. This is the archaeologist character. Yeah. Like, and he's collecting hints or items that the stranger left behind, possibly leading to a hidden area in the compartment of the museum room. Like all these are all things, you know. And so I thought it did a pretty good job. Like, because uh, uh, these these would be all the scenarios that we're running that we just map on what we just discussed. Yeah, you know. And some of these are a little dumb. It's like it's exceptionally busy and Roby needs to serve, serve things. So he has to do a little mini <laughs> game like <laughs> where he's tappering like the skull Bob stout. Right. Um, I thought that was pretty good, but the, like secret passage discovery. Right. It's like his, his, Oh man. Can I, can I say something about, I was about that's yeah. cr So quick his Like I was thinking about the story. Yeah. What if the brewery got so big like the grandfather ended up selling it. And so like, and part of the contract was like, you get to keep the bar and the bar keeps going. And like in my, uh, my, I give it to my family and we, they always get the proceeds of it. And so mm. Roby gets the bar and there's this brewery off to the side that explains why the brewery is still going and all this other stuff's happening. And he's just keeping, trying to keep the bar afloat essentially. Mm. And I thought a cool thing would be like, they, you would try to go in the brewery and like, you know, you can't go in here, Roby. And so that would be like how they do it. But then he finds like a secret wet passageway oh, right. to get so in the brewery into, up it. into it. I don't know. I just had an idea. On that. Yeah. Well, like we'll need something to keep him there. Cause if he's just the master owner of everything, right. You're like, why, why can't you just go into the brewery right now? Right. Right. Uh, yeah. I like that idea. Like something, something, but I thought these were cool. Those like, it, great. You, you know, at least to sort of, it's just like just like ChatGPT using it for anything, right? It's sort of a jump off point, like I blank page of trying to come up with adventurey things. Not not as great as looking at some of these and being like, "Ooh, right, you know, a quest to uncover more about his grandfather's adventures by collecting memorabilia and photographs scattered around the tavern. Each item could unlock a short story or anecdote about Robert Decker, enriching the game's backstory and creating a deeper connection to the Skull Bob artifact." I was like, "Yep." That's it. We're definitely going to be doing that. So <laughs> we already said that <laughs> chat GBT. Stop reading you're our like, brains. Yeah. You're like, come up with something new. What are we paying you for? My God. Anyway, 
That's awesome. Yeah. Like, I feel tonight was really necessary. And we said we were going to be a little looser tonight because we just needed to explore the world a little bit and mm-hmm. just, like, talk it through. So Ryan and I touch base, um, what? It's, like, once a week uh, yeah. just on where we're headed. I think we've been both separated and what we've been working. You've been working on graphics. I just wanted to make sure we had, like, a cornucopia of things to do in a game. Yeah. So we knew we could even take it to that level. And now we think we have graphics somewhat tuned in. I got, like, general mechanics tuned in. And we have all the components that need to tell the story. The the game. We have the story. Right. Now we got to, like, get them together, start tuning it up, making it a little bit more concise. And we got something here. And so what I would love to do, so action items before we move on to, to, to Jackbox, is I would say, you and I, let's go into the mural board and start figuring out, like, what do we think would be an interesting thing to have the player do for this prototype, right? Like, we'll go in, we'll add sticky notes, we'll connect them together. Like, I think we should just pick some kind of simple, act, you know, like, uh, challenge for them to have that incorporates a lot of that stuff and then and then build those levels out because it's almost like I didn't want to build the museum level if without knowing we, without knowing what we're going right. to be doing in the museum like are we jumping around the museum and is it like a vertical level where you're seeing all the different stuff and you're like platforming up the museum level like or is it just sort of a room and we're we're finding things in it so like i feel like i all start i'll keep building all of the sprite assets but once we start sort of figuring it out and then we'll just we'll put it in as the most simple backgrounds that we possibly can inside of there and see if it's fun. I think you got it. Yeah. I mean, the, I, I think we're at to the point where we have that is probably our next step. So we got the demo kind of like that. It's almost yeah. like that now. It's right. just like, let's get those like pieces in. Yeah. Cause you go collect some crap, but it's like a little platformer part. Yeah. Um, take one of the stories from chat GPT. We got this. Yeah. What you? What do you think, Chad? If you've been listening to our rantings and ravings, you know, like, if you had any insights of what you wanted to play, you should yeah, let us yeah. Know. And, and and if you know if you're watching this on VOD or whatever later, check out the Discord. And tell us things. Plus, we'll probably have the game like really, really well right. fleshed out by the time you're watching this on any kind of thing. <laughs> Let's play some Jackbox, y'all. Woo! Who has who has been waiting for Jackbox? I know that's something that I've been wanting to do for quite a bit of time. So, uh, let's let's get in there. Um, and see my account. Oh my God! You're watching me log in. <laughs> Just kidding. You don't know what that was. It was, it was B X seven nine two. All right. Which one do we want to do? Do you want to do? Um, I kind of want to do this. The the um, the shirt one. That is like one of my favorites. <laughs> The drawing one. What is the? Is it on three? I like the first one. We're gonna exit out of this. Do you like the first one? T- so TKO is the um, short one, right? But there's two of them. There's T- TKO one and two. Is there? Yeah. Okay. We're gonna do the first one. Sure. Because I like that one. All right, I gotta get my thing ready to go. Can you hear that? It seems like it's here. All right, we. No, you. I don't think I have the the ability oh, to turn was... it up on that oh, one. Okay. <laughs> wait, maybe I do. Oh, we do. It probably doesn't need to be that loud. You know. You need to do. You need to hear what they say. Remember? Yeah, but not not over me, not over my witty remarks. <laughs> oh yeah. All right, let's see if we have anybody out there that's going to join us for this. All right, this is where you go to okay. jackbox.tv. Jackbox.tv, you got to give them the room code. All right. Is it already there? No, oh. you got to unhide it. Okay. Might be playing by ourselves here, unless anybody's out there. Oh, we got Heather in there. Nice. Holy crap. P B H E. Hey. <laughs> All right, cool. Hiya. 
How many can you have? Eight. We're Eight. gonna give it just a second in case anybody else wants to jump in. Anybody else who wants to join us and draw some fun things? All right, I think I got it. We ready to start this? All right, you ready? Go. Three, two, one. You can play as the as the background, I think. Yeah, join the audience. You can still join the audience if you're in the background. I don't wanna. Welcome to TKO. I did not mean to enter this tournament. tournament. It was a clerical it's error. Mysterious, huh? To learn my secret origin, check out TKO Comics issue 144. Shirt on, shirt fans. Feel free to explore T-Shirt Island during your training breaks, but keep to the trail. Every time one of you gets immolated by a fire spirit, my insurance goes up. <laughs> your journey to victory begins here at the training ground. We bought a T-Shirt. Did I say that? I bought oh, did it come out good? Yeah. Did turn out great. Feel free to draw anything that strikes your fancy. And if your fancy isn't feeling so fancy, hit the suggestion button. All right. Get your drawing fingers wiggling. It's time to draw. Oh, crap. seconds Okay. You can change your line thickness with that little button here. Begin your second drawings. Twenty seconds. Time goes short. Hurry up and finish already. All right, we did it. <laughs> One more to go. Oh Calm God! Down, One more. Begin.
that time is not for decoration. Finish quickly. Five seconds. Like Azul. Yeah. <laughs> oh God. Hey, yes. I, was I doing... think we can work with these. <laughs> For your last exercise, you will write as many slogans or phrases as you can. These have nothing to do with your drawing, so just put those out of your mind. And don't let hubris consume you. Use a suggestion if you need one. <laughs> Go. I'm looking for like three or four from each of you. Does that seem doable? Just give it a shot. deep that time 11 wow <laughs> training complete now take a look at your device you have a series of drawings and slogans at your disposal choose one of each to make the best t-shirt champion that you can don't phone it in <laughs> oh man there's some good ones in there You only get to pick one, right? Yeah. Okay. Well done. I hope you're ready. Let the tournament begin. Gauntlet one. <laughs> Fight. Fight by submitting your votes and your devices. <laughs> oh, God. They're both good. I can't tell. I voted against my, my own interest. Versus. Engage in an altercation. Nice. Oh, man. I still gave it to your mom. <laughs> The taco is amazing, I gotta say. A new challenger appears. <laughs> Somebody was so hungry many tacos. for tacos. Somebody wanted tacos real bad. I love that there's purple multiple tacos, tacos in yeah, there. Yeah, purple tacos. Love it. Nice. Good job. What if it isn't a winner? Nice. Taco! <laughs> <laughs> this feels like a good time for a training break. Use your devices to enter one new drawing and as many new slogans as you wish. Think outside the box. Go. One new drawing, okay. Oh, there is white on here. Shoot.
Time is about to expire. You may want to finish up. Five seconds for three, two. Okay. This one's very unforgiving Stop if you running. don't have a drawing. <laughs> yeah. already oh man I didn't... that last the one second was gonna be good too and the hairy paws of kismet have shuffled your drawings and slogans create your deadly t-shirt warrior <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh yeah This ought to be good. Winner. Oh, you Go found on. the winner? Nah. <laughs> Baby. Oh! <laughs> Jesus, dude. <laughs> oh, man, they're so good. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, the toilet was really good. Good on that one. A new challenger appears. <laughs> Engage one another in fire. Oh my god. This is a PG show. <laughs> this is a PG show. <laughs> who's, who's doing these? <laughs> you're, all, you're all getting banned. Oh. Woo! <laughs> is that a my kind of tripod? <laughs> yes, yeah. yes it is. Yeah. Oh, a new challenger appears. <laughs> oh man. Peeing hamburgers. That's a good drawing. <laughs> the simplest. I kind of want that shirt though. <laughs> so simple. Make it. Winner. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Look at the, the face on that it's stick like figure. Just look it down. The final gauntlet is here, and only the best shirts from the previous rounds remain. The tournament ends here. Versus. <laughs> oh, man. It's tough one. <laughs> like it's too good. So simple, so good. We have a champion. Oh, so dang! Worked out. Yeah, our There's and slogan were both unsold. Heather's. Who was running? You the dirty, dirty-minded oh, woman. Wait, no, me. Never mind. You're like both. That's what I. That's what I don't like about sometimes. Uh, this is like. Both those, the drawing and the and the wording was Heather's, but I won. <laughs> they gave you credit for it. Yeah, they give you credit for it. They what do you think? One more it. time, or are we done? We, do you want to? Uh, was there a different one that we had? Do we uh, like a different TKO game? or or one that was good for the? Well, we had like all these packs we bought. There's not um, the rap one isn't in there, is it? I don't know. I don't I don't recognize any of these. Junktopia? Fibbage, I've I've never played fibbage. any of these. I've heard of Fibbage. Drawing, writing, and reading minds. Okay. Yeah, I think we're See, all getting kinda to the that's point. True, at that's the true. End. It I, is eleven o'clock at yeah, night. We have true. work tomorrow. Hey! That was hella fun. Yeah. And we're gonna probably Thank do you, some everybody. more jackbox because we've been talking about um 
doing a little bit more of that. Thanks for hanging out tonight. Thanks yeah. for hearing us yap about our game and all the fun things. Had a fun time. Totally. And uh, yeah, it was great. You all have a, have, a, have a good night, and we will see you next time on the Hangout. So peace out. Yeah. We'll see you. Bye. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yes, you did win. <laughs> all right. Peace out. Later.